Dang. Okay, so now we live. We're live. They missed that song. That's all right. It's all good. Yeah, I was just gonna say I, I had to uh say happy birthday to Jay Nice on uh on the text. I I forgot uh to hit him up all day today, but it's still his birthday. Hey, happy birthday, Jay Nice. Hey, you know what? You can send that link to anybody you want to um join you on this on this live, by the way. Yeah, I sent it to Rick. He's gonna get on here. Okay, when's the last Rick, time I asked Oh, like when, it's, it has to have been a minute. How long has it been? Like, uh, that's a, that's a great question. <laughs> I know I've seen you around. I had to, I've seen Rid around. Fish, I don't know when's the last time I seen you around. You know, I've been in the no, I've been in the no town, y'all. That's all. <laughs> well, some people were definitely looking forward to seeing y'all. Been wondering what you've been up to and all that great stuff. So I'm very happy to see you. Yay. Word. Like uh, okay, Everybody. So, so I had an opportunity to listen to your album. And I mean, I was telling Rid the other night, like, oh my gosh, every song was it just appears very well thought out, um, well produced, well mixed, well mastered. Congratulations. It's beautiful. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. How, long, how long ago did you guys do that album? Uh I guess we've been working on it for a minute, and, and you know. We and we finally brought it to a close. Something that we have the luxury of doing, as opposed to being on any kind of timeline or dead deadline. <laughs> you know, that's right. That's that great thing about being independent. You know. Yeah. I had always uh, liked your, been impressed with your production skills, even back in the Good Life days, man. I had this tape for many, many years until recently, of um some of your beats from back in the day, like 93 from The Good Life. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was a very specific that was sound. A TV beat tape. <laughs> life with your, with your beats, didn't they? I think they used to oh, just yeah. like, everybody started rapping, they'd play your music. Yeah. A lot. Yeah. A now, lot. You... We used to... Mm -hmm. Go ahead. No, please. No, I was just going to say that we used to make beats for, you know, The Good Life on a weekly basis to, you know, to always have beats, but then we we was making so many of them that we put them on beat tapes, you know, and sell them, sell them right there outside of the good life. Uh, DJ Black had the table set up, Ebo had the table set up, you know, and uh, be selling shirts, incense, all kind of stuff, books, you know, and and be selling the the CV beat tapes too. Okay, okay. along with the Freestyle Fellowship album, you know that that. Uh, just was nominated for a Grammy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. all that. You know, all that Are was you, getting slain right here. That's right. Are you on the um that classic album, that first album? Uh, have you, did you produce? No, that no. Uh, uh. You strictly was CBE. Wait a minute. Didn't you produce for uh uh uh? Oh my God, figures of speech. You produced for them too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we was on the first Project Blowed album. We just wasn't in Freestyle Fellowship. You know what I'm saying? They had their own production and, you know, they own everything. Shout we out, everybody. Um, worked on, me and Fish both worked on some stuff on All Balls Don't Bounce album, though, with AC, his solo album. Oh, yeah. yeah that's classic. That's classic. Yep. So, okay. All right. Okay. So, did you guys go traveling over to Europe? Have you done that? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. What what mm -hmm. countries have you gone to? Me, Germany, and in Canada, uh, which is not Europe, but uh, in in Europe, uh, Germany. But Red, I don't know how many places you've been. Red, yeah, been, really, yeah. I've been a lot of places. I've been uh, Germany, France, Sweden, Finland. Um, Greece, um, Czech Republic. Wow. Cuba. He's to my nephew in Sweden. Now, um, Cuba, did you go with Ben and them, or did you do? Yeah, yeah okay. I did three trips with Cuba. Ben. Cuba. We're talking about Ben Caldwell. Shout out Ben Caldwell, Chaos Network. He's an elder right. in the community. Yes. Uh, guides, helps as a mentor, and sometimes financier of... Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of the artists from uh, the South Central area 
Um, okay, now we're in. So it's CBE, Chillin' Villain Empire. How many people are in Chillin' Villain Empire? I don't know. Shoot. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> you know? Shout out Rexus. I'm just what? saying Rexus. I went to high school with him. Juan Shepard, what up? What up? Hi, Hollywood. Yep. Who else? Did you, did you name some that's, people. That's one of our active members that, you know, still be on the mic recording and stuff like that. But it's you know it's a it's a gang of uh, inactive members. So I mean, we represent CVE and and we got others representing CVE uh, coming up. Right on. Uh, oh. My son represented CVE in a great way on this album. Really? We did a really? we, my my son and I actually my my son go by DJ No Words or he, he just go by No Words, but uh. We did a, a, a EP dynamic duo that um, was dope that uh, right before this, so uh, a couple years ago. And um, so he's been on the production, but he really got deep with it this time. You know, he just, the, the skill level went up and uh, he, he uh, enjoys recording with his father. So we do some That's tight songs together. Super yeah, his fun. son did a lot of the production on the album and on that uh, song. Um, what is it? Am I the asshole? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> am I the a hole? Oh yeah, yeah I want to uh, say that again. I don't yeah, even. Yeah, yeah. His son is the one who raps last on that album, on that song. Yeah. That's his son, and he produced the beat too. So, when you producer. went to the Czech Republic and those different places in Europe, did y'all go together, or you that was your solo music? Um, I did a lot of that touring solo and some of it with AC alone touring with him and and with my solo projects. How did yeah. how did they hear of you? How did they hear y'all music? Mm -hmm. From basically the Good Life tapes that we were doing at the Good Life and songs that were like best passing around to people. Um, a lot of it just start leaking and getting on those exchanges and on the early days of the web when people were like, putting up bulletin boards and exchanging tape stuff. And then, you know, the, um, when, what was that first one came up with the, where you download it? Napster. Down, Napster. Napster. Yeah. And when stuff like yep. Napster came out, it would get on there. And, and from there, it was getting to Europe and all around the world. So people was hearing it basically without us, basically without us even knowing they were hearing it. It was That's like, it was big stuff because we weren't putting anything out yet, really. We just record more demo stuff because, we weren't really happy with the quality of the vocal stuff we were doing at home. We still didn't want to go to a studio. We wanted to master at home. We just basically was recording to record, and we let people hear some of the stuff. And yeah, That's but then the more the more people hit us up about you know the stuff that we were doing, even though the quality wasn't like if you paid you know a bunch of money to go into a, a Hollywood studio at the time. Uh, they was hitting us up so tough that we was like, "Shit, we we'll we'll slam these motherfuckers through the mail." And that's you know we was doing that for the longest before I ever had an email. We was slanging, we was slanging records in the mail, you know, from all over the world. Was my Sp MySpace also helpful with that? Uh, yeah, that was way before MySpace, though. We, you know, oh, we've been doing this way a long time. <laughs> you know, so it was way before MySpace. <laughs> it was, you know, it was, I, I can't remember what year MySpace started, but yeah, it was before that. We were on Black Planet <laughs> for MySpace. <laughs> now, yeah. do you, hear, yeah, exactly. Do y'all still keep in contact with any of the people y'all met over there? Like, do you hear people kind of doing the styly? Um, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I still contact. I got a lot of friends that are over there. As a matter of fact, I'm working on another project too, a new solo project where I am incorporating some of the people who I met when I was in Germany and other places to feature on this new project that I'm working on. That's super dope. When should we when should we be looking for that, Red? Next year, probably the middle of next year. Okay. Okay. And and uh this album that you sent, uh it's just dope. Can you tell the family the name of this album? The album? Sure. It was. It, it's it's called Critical Base Theory by Chilla Villain Empire, and uh, man, the 
you know, the name kind of says a lot from where we come from making beats and and how and where we come from making hip hop. You know, <laughs> it, it it makes you you know it it it, it, it can get that controversial because it's it's so many people that will swear. Why do you even call yourself a rapper if you're not out there making millions of dollars and, and stuff like that? You know, like that's a part of what they consider being a rapper. They don't consider being a rapper, you know, where you do it for the art and do it to uh, avoid a bunch of bullshit in life. Give yourself, you know, another out in a place, you know, like South Central, you know, to where it, it, it guides you to a, a a better life you know that's being the whole purpose being the big purpose being the main purpose you know that you know everybody came from so many different neighborhoods and everything and to you know you think about how good life was you was that good life you was that project blow how much peace it was when we live in an, in an area where it's nothing but a gang of gang territories, you know, and a gang of bullshit that happens every day, everywhere else, you know, but wasn't happening there, you know, that that's, you know, that was a whole nother world. So that that's where we came from with hip hop and this controversial, you know, just like critical race theory is, is controversial to, to some. Excellent. Excellent. You know? Because, yeah, people try to separate the art from politics. And I don't mean direct politics, but just living, like you said, like living in South Central and living around that chaos, especially in the early 90s. You know, every party, everybody was shooting, you know, to the point where I started yeah. just having gatherings at the house because it was just so like literally everywhere we would go, there was like a shooting. You know what I mean? And how can you not have that in your music, like have your effect from it or just even talk about it. You know what I mean? It's hard to escape that. So critical mm -hmm. base theory. Yeah. Yeah. You got that base, but don't boom, mm -hmm. bump and then race. I get it. Yeah. They trying to ban teachers from talking about real history in class. So it's interesting. Which is crazy. And, and I know you're a teacher, you know, that that's crazy that, you know, you, that's a thing, <laughs> you know, that's right. crazy. Right. You know, right. Yeah, it's all crazy. You know, I was watching, uh, I was just watching this show today and this couple was getting married and they jumped a broom. And I was thinking like how crazy it is that they didn't allow us to get married. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people couldn't allow me. I mean, we, we did what we did, but just yeah. thought that you thought you would have the power and the notion to tell somebody that they could or couldn't get married is bizarre. So all of it, oh. you know, <laughs> When you talk about teaching, funny. Don't be surprised if they try to bring it back. <laughs> you know, how about that part? Of this? How about, how about the program that, that we just don't? Most of us, a lot of people get married anyway. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not to even want to do that, or we created our yeah, own. But it, yeah, but it's definitely a difference from not wanting to and actually being, you know, uh, you know, told that you couldn't that's one thing that you know the the um the lbgt community i might say it a little wrong whatever but uh goes through as far as like if you want health care and everything like that that you know you, you like anybody else you know it's like to but you can't get it because you're not married and then it's outlawed that's kind of crazy you know what i'm saying that's kind of crazy situation and you got people that would love to bring that back. They they would love to bring, you know, say that interracial marriage can't happen. That's, you know, that's like saying two human beings, <laughs> even two, if one is male and one female, they still saying that, you know, y'all shouldn't get married, you know, legally. That's crazy. That's crazy. You know, it's just crazy. It's crazy. You know. Yeah. All but of them, no um, surprises trying to control people is just bizarre anyway i'm trying to get my little set together <laughs> but anyways yeah you know and that that's been a trip because um like tomorrow you know sister fela we're gonna really talk about um this crabs in a barrel stuff you know what i mean that's really affecting our mental as well um from the micro to the macro so many things 
Maybe I've been watching too much YouTube, but there's been just story after story after story that keeps sh directly showing what we all need to strengthen up on together collectively, which to, to me seems like that crabs in a barrel syndrome. You know what I mean? Like, like the, the, the little young lady in Mexico, right? With the so-called friends yeah. and up dead. That's one example of that, right? Then there was oh, the yeah. off take getting murdered at a at a at a party on Halloween night. Take off for sure. That was that was overboard. Sorry about that. Yeah, take off. Um the Kanye, Kanye oh, saying yeah. stuff that's confusing with truths. <laughs> then we split on that. Then what else was going on? It was like back to back to back. You know, and to me, the message, you know, if you think allegorically, is just always we gotta we really got to get in the frequency together again, people, you know, even, okay, yeah. I'll, go ahead. No, I don't know what I was about to say. I mean, you know, you threw Kanye's name out there. You saying we split, mm -hmm. but a lot of black people still say fuck everything. And, and, and I'll, I, I, I'll, I'll bump Kanye at my party. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. People might be tripping right now, you know, and got something, you know, a whole lot to say about Kanye, but what does that have to do with me and, you know, uh, the rest of the world? I might have, you know, personal conversations with people about Kanye. I don't even know Kanye. But as far as I know, he don't call himself Kanye no more. It's yay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, whatever, whatever he, he got going on is totally, you know, is, is, is not in any kind of way. Uh, where I need to be on social media, you know, talking bad about the man. You know what I'm saying? But if I talk to somebody amongst my peers or whatever, and I got, you know, discussions that I, I feel, you know, make sense, that's that's different. But so that's why I said, you know, where it, because of social media, everybody, a lot of people out there may be making comments that it seems like they on one side or the other. But I mean, Fuck social media like that, you know. Hey, that's a good real. Point. You know what? Peace, yeah. Jay. Good to see you out there. By the way, you got folks out there giving shout outs. Um, Word up. That's real because you could take that either way. You could say that that's just another game they playing to distract us from something else. You could say it's that a whole lot of something else. Is <laughs> yeah, it's just all you the know? game. No matter what, it's just for them to make money off of controversy. No matter what, like so. No matter what it is, they're going to figure out a way to squeeze money out of it. But certain conversations aren't, you know, that we have in private aren't to be had on social media, you know, because it's yeah. taken out of context. <laughs> it's just displayed for other people. It's Damn. Done they're going to exploit it and, you know, do certain things with the information and point it and use it as a weapon. No matter what you say, it'll be used against you, <laughs> you know, basically. Yeah. Like in a court of yeah. law. Conversations, you know, very good That's point. We have, we have, you know, and the conversations we have in front of now, you know, what we talk about in the house, we don't talk about in the streets. That's yeah. old school, yeah. and people put their whole life story on Facebook and Instagram and all that, showing them doing the these bizarre streets now. The digital streets is all they got, and they put all their business out there. You know, I've heard like, youngsters. But, say, <laughs> I've heard youngsters. I, I never, go ahead, go ahead. I've heard youngsters even say like they prefer the the meta life. They feel they think it's safer, safer than real life. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know if that's true, but but I hear you. <laughs> I, I hear you. That you know the way the way people are thinking the the the, the way the world be on conspiracy theories like a mug. You know I don't even know if the meta life world is is safer. But it's funny to hear that, you know, uh, I will add one last thing, you know, to 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 the Kanye thing is I heard that Adidas was still going to be selling the, the, the gay shoes, but they was going to name them something else. Yeah, <laughs> Let's I talk about that, that shit. <laughs> I just I just saw uh, uh, Kanye and, you know, he he literally allows anybody who's filming him to film him talking because, you know, he's been banned from the general media. Right. So yeah. he was he's basically trying to run for president in 2024. So a lot of this is just segue yeah. into that. We're gonna see how that goes. 
see how that works. He says he asked Trump to be vice president, join him as vice president. And, and, and Trump got mad. You hear about that? Trump, Trump got mad at him. Interesting. Yes. Yeah, you know, okay. <laughs> well, I don't mean to call into all of that. Um, I, I just want to mention right now that this the purpose of this um this series that, that I'm doing at this time is it's called the historical West Coast Legends and I personally just wanted to give honor and respect to people that I know have tremendous talent and say thank you for your contribution to the musical sphere and hip hop movement. Okay. That's, that's the purpose. Um, it started oh. with, it definitely started with volume 10, you know, who I had direct access to interview, yeah. um, but also Coolio Coolio. Um, I really appreciated him coming on my podcast um, he had his own message. He's really, he really wanted to start really moving the masses as much as he could with information that he was getting enlightened about or was enlightened about and just, you know, more openly wanted to share it. And I appreciated him coming on here. And so I had told him that I was going to keep, you know, keep doing that. So, um, thank yes, you. rest in peace. That's yeah. the paradise. Y'all ever, you know, y'all ever meet him or work with, you know, talk to him or any of that? ever i've never i've seen him but i've never really met him and sat down with him or anything mm -hmm. same same okay yeah you know it's a trip like i used to go up to the good life with ski low i don't know if y'all remember any of yeah. that but i used to come up there with ski, that. ski like, low, all that. yeah and forget <laughs> my lines and stuff you know <laughs> every single time because he wanted to do a new song every week and and it was hard for me to remember all of that all the time. So you know, mm -hmm. when we get on stage, he'd be like, and I'd be like, that. <laughs> I was still getting. Yeah, he yeah, knew getting... what the good life was about. That that was the that was the vibe of the good life to you know try to you know do a blow up every week. You know, different, something different. You know, so that yeah. was I hear you. I hear you. Go ahead, bro. go ahead. That was the <laughs> that was the most challenging experience in regard to creativity and that was the most beautiful time because you know it did force you to come with it because you didn't want to come like nobody else and you wanted to be the dopest every week even though it wasn't officially a contest yeah. it was amongst our right, right, right. a camaraderie that yeah. we all we had to come with it or you get that please pass the mic and nobody wanted to get that you know mm -hmm. no no that's, that's you know that's like when you first get there and stuff you, you having to deal with that you know but then you learn quick, you know, not to what you have to do to not get that, you know. And then, then you just want the blow up of the night, you know. Uh, that's that's the next thing. Yeah, I remember those freestyle, those battles, those battles were legendary. I had footage of that. I don't have any footage of that anymore. I've moved so many times, and I think Volume Ten accidentally threw some of our stuff away, like when we moved. <laughs> To Vegas and was like my I didn't sit, you know put them over the CD or on internet. Yeah, I know, I know. It's gone forever. So you I know I had like, hella stuff that I probably don't have no more. You know maybe I do. I don't know if it's even even any good anymore. You know that was a long time ago. We was on VHS. You know. <laughs> yep, mine was too. <laughs> I didn't switch it over yet. I didn't do it. Fast. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> Unfortunate. So, okay. So are you a grandpa or you, what's happening with y'all? Like, or no, this I'm just saying. I'm a it. grandfather. I got two grandsons. Beautiful. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. Are they in music too? Um, They will be. <laughs> They're young. Oh, They're, okay. um, They're three. And the other one is like eight months so they're young wow <laughs> but, um, but the three-year-old already can name like piano notes and chords and stuff because his father is a professional piano player so he's already learning That's and teaching my son piano too so I'm very dope. In the family very dope um also another thing i wanted to just showcase because um I, I had talked to spice one y'all know who spice one is right yeah yeah, yeah. He lives, so, north side. he lives down the street from me, right? And his daughter mm -hmm. went to the school that I was teaching at, right? So it was just like that kind of serendipity. And um, I was talking to him about the importance of audience or I don't know what you want, youngsters, whatever, to know 
that as a rap artist, you're not just a rap artist. You know, like um, I really wanted to show the science of artists, the technology that you know, the engineering, the arts, the math, the other parts of you, the father aspect of you. You know, a lot of times this music that we're listening, I wouldn't even call it music. I don't know what you call it. The sound that's coming out <laughs> on the radio the last, I would say, hardcore 10 years has been tremendously uh, hypnotizing and decadent and destructive, right? So I think it's important for the globally for people to know that is not hip hop and that's not like the true energy of real artists. Real artists are dimensional and they're intellectual and intelligent, you know, and uh, not perfect. You know, in our young days, we we did silly, you know, stuff, but we yeah, weren't- Yeah, but it's, it's, it's more before. than ever. I agree, but it's more than ever where you have the other side of hip hop, the underground side of hip hop uh, that we grew up in and we always represented that was the alternative. It's more than ever an alternative to hip hop all over the place, you know, all over the place. While while all this music that might be destructive as hell is going on, it's also hella positive music going on and hella dope shit going on more than ever now, <laughs> more than ever now. So yeah. that's yeah. a twist. You know, it's just, it's, 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 it's social media. The good side of social media has allowed it to be where you can find it and it's everywhere. <laughs> you know, it's everywhere, you know, it's, yeah. it, and it's a gang of bloatings that still make music that, you know, uh, just for, the, the style of, of hip hop that I like, you know, that, you know, so, you know, everything is, 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 is there more than ever. Unfortunately, when you talk about like the most like paid or something like that type of stuff, the people going after money, you know, specifically, some are not even, even interested in hip hop. They more interested in the money, you know? So yeah, it's, that's, it, but it, it's easily made. It's easily made. Hip hop has become such a household word from people that loved hip hop and made it greater in the years past. So it, it made they made it so great that you can just do anything in hip hop and, and you know what I'm saying and, and be millionaires. And it's the biggest because it's the biggest genre of music now than 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 any other genre. You know so. You know, they paved the way that that's made a crazy pave. This is the craziest uh, yellow brick road I ever see. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> you know, I always do think of the Wizard of Oz when I think about whatever is going on in this crazy ass world right now. It really is on some yellow brick road craziness. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I'm glad to know, okay, so there's like a whole bunch of us still doing music. I am working on an album. I'm past due on working on an album. Thankfully, you know, volume has allowed me to put a song, you know, have a song or four <laughs> on his most recent projects. Volume 10 yeah. is still music. Um, I think a lot of us from The Good Life and The Project Blow in general are still doing music as far as you know, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. So y'all. Look for us. Look for all of us, y'all, on these different uh, platforms. Check us out. We're still doing it. You know, I had the blessing to turn 50 this year. It sounds old. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to make it sound sexy, but I don't know. 29 <laughs> quarters sounds sexier, but I'm thankful to be 50. I'm thankful to be 50. Yeah. And I think that, yeah, yeah. Uh, my niece passed yesterday, as a matter of fact. I mean, not niece, my cousin. She was 24 yesterday. Oh, wow. Sorry, yeah, sorry to a, hear that. Yeah, it's a, wow. lot, a lot of a lot of youngsters are dying. You know, she had asthma. You know, it's an asthma issue. Wow. So, but I mentioned that because yeah, we ain't stopping doing it. Ain't uh, uh what's his name? Jay Z is like mid fifties now, right? Yeah. A lot of the uh, he should be. Yeah, a lot yeah, of I'm folks. Sure I'm fifty three. So we yeah, wow. I'm more like that. Yeah, y'all yeah. are older than me a little bit. <laughs> I forgot about that. And ain't nobody stopping. So I think it's going to be like how the Rolling Stones and all those rock bands and all of them are still like 75, yeah. still touring. Mm -hmm. and, stuff. 
And yeah. I hope it does. I hope it is like that. You know what I mean? And I, I pray it is. I pray it is. Um, I think yeah. our audience, we have a good audience. Our age group, we have money now. Like we have jobs and, you know, we tend mm -hmm. to have like a little extra change to buy a CD or you know, they don't buy CDs, stream or however y'all do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> support you. Support independent artists. You know, we need to. Yeah, which I, yep, I, I, will, I will interrupt and say that, that this album, we're putting it out on wax and putting it out on CD first. We might mess with uh what's call it a little bit band camp but but we're not thinking about spotify at the present time or not you know we we this is man this is not something that is you know something that you would say oh let me put it on spotify and try to rank it with you know everything that's going on in hip-hop that way no it's this is more personal shit you know this is way more personal people that really love hip-hop they they gonna be off this shit, you know. Wait a minute, Fizz. Did you just say you're not on Spotify? Yeah, we're not tripping off of that on, on this album as far as like putting it on Spotify first. We'll put it on there eventually. You know what I'm saying? But we're not we're not tripping off of it like that. That's you know? super progressive though. You know they only paying point zero 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 six four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not exactly, even exactly. Artist, not even every time the exactly. artist Spotify. The artists before get less, so every time somebody new come, they take a slice of that same pie. So, I mean, yeah, man, that's really whack. Man. Ain't nobody like tripping on Spotify like that. It's so obvious that you can make more money anyway. Not even messing with Spotify like that, you know. But it, you know, there's a time and place for everything. I'll say, right you know, yeah, because I was gonna say, I don't depends know on what you do. I don't know if y'all tapped into those tick TikTok oceans yet. But they even have their own like distribution through TikTok. So like if you didn't want to deal with any of those, but you just wanted to get your stuff on TikTok, to me, that seems like a lucrative thing. Like uh that one sister, what's her name? She just I think she won a Grammy this Miles Long or I can't even think of her name. Not Miles Long. Um, <laughs> I can't think of her name. I could go for hours and hours. That chick, she um yeah, yeah. She, she she signs like exclusively to TikTok. And you know, because of that, they were more prone to, you know, move it on TikTok. So she made a lot of nice piece little change for little 15, 30 second little movements. You know what I mean? Not even a whole song. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, and I, I I would never not, you know, TikTok or anything like that, but I'll say that's what a younger generation should be doing. You know, like Red just said, he's fifty three. You talking about you just had a birthday at fifty? I'm gonna be fifty two next month. I'm not in that same generation where TikTok is the thing that I'm. You know, let's be real. It's not the one that I want to get signed to. I, I ain't never been signed before. So you know, we signed ourselves. When we did Afterlife. We we did a distribution deal with a you know with a company that that uh, Universal own and everything like that was something different you know we never been into like signing so that sounds great for somebody that's you know i hope my son gets a tiktok deal or something i don't know if he wants it or not you know but if you know but that's that's a different generation which is cool and you know it ain't nothing wrong with it you know what i'm saying this is some other type of hip-hop you know this is some next level that 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 you know you 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 really got to respect you know where where hip hop has been uh, led to as far as like being able to be so diverse. It's because of underground. It's because of the underground. It's not because of the overground. They made it worldwide, but to make it as diverse as it is, and and all the different styles and all the different you know uh, ways of expressing yourself. It's the underground that made that more fruitful. You know, and so. It's a different type of, you know, energy than TikTok. You know, TikTok could have some TikToks. I'll make some TikToks. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll make some TikToks. Yeah. But I'm not against TikTok. <laughs> it's funny, though. <laughs> but, yeah, you brought up some that, with that, though. That's a really good point. Um you know, different, but you know, the musical video aspect, like Riddler, I've seen, I've watched some of your music videos. I think that, you know, it could be a good outlet just to kind of help promote. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I hear you about. I agree. 
Yeah. That was the first time I ever heard of somebody signing to TikTok. I mean, I just wasn't aware of, you know, it's just so much going on in the world that, you know, but I could see that all day long. I yeah. could see that. I, yeah, I know? learned only about it because I've been meeting people who, who make money off making reels. They go on YouTube yeah. reels, they go now on Facebook and make reels and TikTok. So yeah. when I was like, how the hell do they do that? I learned yeah. that. Yeah, actually sign to these entities and, and make money off your music now. Yeah, it's better than like point zero like a third of a penny. I don't even know how you speak. Yeah. That's disrespectful. Yeah. It's disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day did, did they uh and it's, it's way less than a third of a penny too. <laughs> but I hear you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Whatever it is. Whatever. Now, Jay Z's company pays like the most, which is like uh, uh maybe or for, like maybe that third of a penny. I don't know, but it's yeah, all title. Yeah. I was title, thinking about yeah. trying to look into getting on title too. And yeah, title yeah. works with Serato where all the DJs have it. That's dope. You are known for your music. You're just straight up instrumentals at this point, huh? Really? Um, I you know, I'm I'm still I like doing instrumentals, but fish is our thing together. Like we both like that's our like kind of yeah. That's dope. Now y'all gonna, you know, I'm trying to get something popping out here in Las Vegas. I'm gonna see if I can get y'all to come spin, come do some stuff. We'll talk about that though. Word. We'll that. That's next year. Yeah. Word. I, you know, I, look for your catalog. I just want people to know about your catalog. I want them to know about Chilling Villain Empire CBE. I want them to know that nigga fish. Who mentioned you? Wait a minute. Was I interviewing? Was it? I think it was 14. 14 Carrot from 2000 Crows mentioned you last <laughs> Word. Yeah. At, yeah. Okay. Just shout out. He just was like impressed and just admiring your uh, music throughout the years. So he just mentioned you. And I was like, yeah, I think yeah, I want to put it on there. Peace up to the 2000 Crows. Peace up, 14 Carrot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those some good brothers. Good brothers. Um, A few mm -hmm. of them live out here in Las Vegas. You know, get to see them in our midlife. <laughs> And uh, Voodoo, y'all remember? Did y'all ever know Voodoo? Yeah, we knew Voodoo. Yeah, yeah. He's still doing music, too. I'm very proud of him as well. So he had his interview right. a couple weeks ago, too. I wanted to give him his respect and his props. I hope y'all go check it. all these artists out. They're above average. Above average dope. Because there was so much talent, you know, to swim through. I was like, God, I, I just got to get the above average, like... <laughs> That's that's the dopest to me. And when I say that, I just mean like your technique. And I think I already mentioned your, your mixing and mastering is important too. You know, it could make a a, a a good sound sound bad if it's not mixed properly. You know what I mean? And um, that's that's really it. I just wanted people to know who you are, hear y'all talk, see if you have anything you wanted to add on to anything. Yeah, they should unmix the album too. Yeah, which that's what I, I would like to add to this uh, conversation yeah. that he was uh, growing in music as far as uh, he plays the piano and plays the bass guitar. And he uh, went to school for a piano. He taught himself uh, during the pandemic, the, the bass guitar, but he also reads and writes it, teaches it on a daily basis. And he uh, also messes with um the doll that able to and so he started in music you know as a dj and then started producing little beats on ableton and now he's a whiz at that at ableton making music on it and knows more than i know and i spent years making music but all the shortcuts and how to chop beats up real quick and do things you know that that it would take me longer to do the same, you know, type of beat, but all the while we're making beats together, you know, and so while we're making beats together, uh, you know, it's coming along in a major way at a time when he's, you know, growing in a major way and, and he's figuring out what to, what makes the music sound better. You know, he, he's learning mixing techniques, but he also is learning what equipment to buy and buying it. And so we're making this album at the same time that all this growth is going on and we're the kind of rappers that we always, you know, have done our recordings at home, you know, and 
gotten a lot of good quality over the years, learning how to do things uh, by ear. But to have somebody sonically know even better, you know, do things, uh, it, it came out, you know, incredible to me <laughs> as far as as far as like the vocal quality, the beat quality, and you know, it, the technology is here, you know, and now underground can do anything, <laughs> you know. That's obviously, you know, is, is is as well as the overground, you know, they you doing underground songs all the time and that are hitting major radio stations, you know. So that's how good music has become where you can do it at home, you know. And so to have, you know, this youngster learn this stuff and and, and come up and mix the album and, and he made beats on the album too, you know. And and so the, it's like the generation is continuing, you know. And so that's the special thing that I want to spit about. Sorry about that. How old is your son? Uh, twenty two. Who else is in the in the house? Oh, we always get to it. Uh, right? Let's shout out. Uh, what's up? Uh, see, I, I ain't got my glasses on, kids. <laughs> he can't even see you. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Big wreck in the house, you know. Tummy stuff for boys. Anyway, oh uh, write that, put oh. that up in there. Tummy stuffers, y'all, man, y'all plates, man. Next time I come to LA, I'm trying to get with that. Uh, oh yeah, what? I'm in my, I'm Let's in my lab. IG, your IG is at tummy it? stuff for boys. IG at tummy stuff. Yeah, they got them bomb plates. Boys with a Z. Yeah. Yep, and that's in Marino Valley. Yeah. So oh. you, you can get it, it, it. You can get it on your way to LA. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. Hey, no. Hey, you gonna have to. Hey, you gonna have to reroute off the. Uh, uh, what is that? You coming off the. Uh, the fifteen. Yeah. So you gonna have to come back east on the fifteen for like thirty minutes. That's cool. Probably I'm gonna roll it over yeah. there. Marino Valley. I'm not. It's, mad. It'll be yeah. worth it though. It'll oh be yeah, worth I it. seen your plates, man. They look good, man. I was. <laughs> Man, I want that plate. That 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 get fat. I have to and everybody got a family in, in in Marino Valley. Everybody got somebody in Marino Valley. <laughs> That's true. Y'all moved yeah. out of LA, man. Rent is crazy. It's uh, crazy. Yeah. Hey, reckless, what you been up to? Uh, it's tummy stuff for boys. That like, what's up with your music? What's up? Oh shoot. At? Oh, oh, shoot! Right now, shit. I think all of us is probably working on a uh, on a project for sure. I, I I have a project that I'm working on, um, and it's pretty dope. We got some dope features. I got Frog on there too. I got Red on a couple. So you know, yeah, we back and forth. Everybody doing something, you know. Besides our personal life, uh, get back and forth nine to five. When we come home, everybody seems to still have a niche. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real. Get it I, together. I hadn't, had, I hadn't had the energy super much to do a lot of music, but I'm definitely getting into it now. So I feel you on that. The last album I brought out was 2007 or eight or something. It's crazy. Hey, but you know, I've been knowing you forever though. So you was writing, you was already like writing back when we was in high school. Yeah, people like, don't know for real. that. People don't even know. Look, yeah. hey, I don't know if y'all know, and I ain't trying to plug, plug, but hey, why not? Okay, so y'all know I'm on that Netflix thing, right? City of Ghosts? Okay. I oh, I no, I, I, I don't know nothing about that. What's okay. the City of Ghosts? It's a, actually Emmy. It's Emmy nominated. It's nominated for an Emmy right now. Um, ain't nobody invite me to the Emmys, though. Um, <laughs> and it got a Peabody Award <laughs> earlier. But, okay, there's this cartoon. It's an animated show called City of Ghosts. And okay. Um, the, it's the third episode. It's the Lamert Park episode, and I'm basically playing myself. Me and JMD plays the ghost. He's the one. Okay, it's a long story. Oh yeah. Oh, wait it's a minute. I need to check it out. But I <laughs> mentioned that because on that episode, I'm rapping. I, I'm teaching the kids how to do poetry on the episode. Yeah. And I yeah, say, yeah. You know, not JFK. He was a wonder. Like nothing. In the anyway. That's one of the first raps I ever wrote, wrote. And that was in like 86. <laughs> when Martin Luther King Holiday was first becoming a holiday, I wrote a rap for it. And that was how long I've been writing raps. So oh, that's eight, dope. For those, yeah, because yeah, you know, I'm one of the original five footers, right? One of the original yeah. five footers. And uh, 
that was one of the things they thought I was just doing poetry. And I'm like, I hey. low key know that too. I know that too, for real. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, my son comes in every time. Come here, come here. It's like a tradition now. He knows I'm live. But anyway, my son, Bilal, <laughs> turned 11 Wednesday. So Peace. I'm not That's near grandma world yet. I wish I was kind of <laughs> on the grandma tip, but I got started late. So mm -hmm. there we go. You're not alone. But yeah, yeah, yeah. And Hollywood, hi, man. Me and Reckless went to Hollywood together, man. Yeah. That was and a that, fun time. And, and, hey, hey, in that damn Magnet program where we had to act this shit, that was right up my alley. <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. You, you were respected there. You was respected, young man. Yeah. There. I was respected. We had, we had a good time and you know what dude, it was so dope though i remember i i like literally remember seeing you like the first time at the blow like thing like and i was surprised i wasn't surprised but it was like crazy like like damn she here but i already knew like you did poetry and stuff already because you used to be doing it at school all the time you know what i'm saying yeah. <clears throat> but but to be in the same circle and you know that was that was dope. You know what I'm saying? That was really dope, man. You remember Quincy Crow? Yeah, I remember Quincy Crow. Crow. That I remember him at the Good Life. Quincy Crow's another guy we went to school with. I ain't never seen him again though. I, ain't never I seen know him. me either. <laughs> Q, anyway, where you at? Question mark Q. <laughs> so wait a minute, how did you meet Fish and Riddler? Neighborhood. Uh, good life. Yeah. Good life. I met I met them at the Good Life for sure. That's oh, a good okay. life. Okay, okay. Okay, so we just... I'm so thankful but, to be y'all, man, in 2022. Y'all music yeah, was we all. back then, and it's just now, like, like it's trendy now. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all's joint was... That's almost 30 years ago. Hey, Before, like... Yeah. Real, I, nah. I, that's I, I, Frog is really the inventor of that chop shot. Hey, look, like... I was just talking about this, man. Like it, it reverts back. It really do because if you listen to some of the Migos chopping, and then you go back and you listen to Frogs oh, chopping, oh. oh, I mean Fish chopping, yes. then you yes. go, then then you go, you gonna be like, oh, because he got that. They got that stutter. Oh yeah, come on, he the king of that, man. He like the James Brown of that. But him, and so that's why it doesn't bother me. <laughs> It don't bother. It didn't never bother me to listen to the Migos, like for real. Like I hear a couple of songs and I listen to them. But the oh, one yeah, thing I, I can say is I can understand everything that they saying from their chops more than I can understand some of the cats that was just mumbling over their raps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yeah, exactly. Do you know that the so Riddler? How them mumble rap? I would definitely. Yeah, that was a diss. That that was like people trying to diss. Because to me, it's like, even if it was mumbling, because in that early, mid-2000s, y'all know at one point, some of that music was kind of... <laughs> it was like, um, it was, okay? Now, the Migos stood out because they really did have flow. And I did think of Riddler when I listened to Offset and them. I really did. Yeah. And I want to say that, um, do y'all know this? So, you know who Fat, Fat Jack, right? Right. Fat Jack's yeah. brother. Rest in peace. Did y'all know they were distributing tapes to the South in the early mid the 90s? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's the a South large Atlanta. He was too. So, you know, it's a lot of. We was Atlanta. too. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Hey, you see my face. I was like, yeah. <laughs> what I'm saying is, of course, they had, they they had, they had, of they course, had they like a version of Project but in Atlanta that was based off the blow. Like they, 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 a lot of them consciously knew about us and what in the styles and like. That's all yeah. I'm trying to say, bros. That's all I'm trying to say. Because I've had this long running, long standing notion about like I had done my first EP with these cats out in Virginia and they know about the blow, the good life and all that. And they used to study the bejesus out of y'all, man. Honorably though, like honorably, but they ain't never talk about y'all. Yeah. You know what I'm I saying? Know, it's and it's a beautiful thing when you can when you can have hip hop grow to a point where they can talk about their own city. You know, it's it's. But uh, I would say what we did was definitely make that possible. That's what the part that we put in on the underground. Like we made it to where everybody 
could realize that it could be popping where I'm at, no matter where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't got to do what everybody else is doing either. You know, like that was major. It wasn't everywhere like that way back. You know, it was it was back when I was rapping at high in high school. It was barely anybody rapping in high school. Can you imagine what it's like now? You know, like that's that's a major part of high school. Uh, we trying, is to, rapping. We're trying, to, trying to get youngsters back to rapping in in school. It's kind of you know I'm in I'm in the high school right now and. It's like a lot of the creativity is being directed into other funnels. Like they really not necessarily try. Well, there's some girls trying to, there's a couple of girls trying to rap, but um, a lot of the young men, I don't really see them actively trying to rap. You know what I mean? Not really. Shit, like okay. I used to. Okay. Maybe I got to come back to Cali to see it, but not here in Las Vegas. It seemed like every, every youngster out here is a rapper. Everyone that's out here, they, everyone out here is a rapper. They, you know, you know, which is so funny because in, in Marino Valley, like it's only 10 miles long, 10 miles wide almost, right? So, mm -hmm. so like it should have been easily. Well, it actually was one, and it was like in the URL, uh, URL, what was his name? Young B or think something like that. But he he uh he was like one of the the, the the top cast but since he's gone it like ain't really been nobody that's been in the city like this that's known that could just blow up and just like uh and 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 from the platforms that's out i don't understand it because if, if we had that platform that we had they have right now back then it would be like ridiculous i think everybody would probably be millionaires by now for sure but but, it, but yeah but it's but it, it's not stopping them from wanting to do it nonetheless you know what i'm saying it's many of them that's doing it even if they might not be blowing up you know to make marino valley you know a household name like that you know around their name but they out there doing it like the motherfucker you know what i'm saying it's it, it's no lack of rappers you know that's the difference like it was a serious lack of rappers back when we was you know coming up yeah, I was the only rapper in my high school when I was going to Venice High. I was the only person that I knew rapped at the whole school. Yeah, and then after that, but we used to always watch you kill that shit. No, I, I mean, what you call it? Um, it was it was a couple of cats that I thought was rap. You know, when you was rapping. Now I don't know. I know it was more when I was rapping after you left. You know that. You know. But it was like three, four. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't a lot. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't. I, I, I'll probably say that too, because it, it, it was like. And it's high. I can't even count the other person who next year started rapping, but wasn't rapping that year. They you to always ask me to rap. <laughs> That's yeah, funny. see. <laughs> at, at, at L.A., shit, at Mount Vernon and L.A., it was probably just me and Cool, me and Cool, T.C., Je Jexel. Everybody, it was like, I, I guess you're right. When I think about that, it was like that. It was just a few of us, and everybody knew, I, oh, them is the niggas that rap. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's true. Real but shit. you know what? I really did. I just really, I felt the energy of having y'all on here because of the fact when I did actually hear Offset and Quavo and them and um, take off songs, man, I, I was like, that's Riddler all day. That's fish all day. Yeah, that's real fish shit. all day. Not amigos. You know what I'm saying? Before the amigos. So that's that's really y'all was really on my mind like that. You know, and I just feel like it's important for people to understand the foundations, like where people oh, are. Yeah, definitely, definitely not to take nothing away from the amigos. And you know, they they on a they was on a different path with it in, in a different generation. And you know, and 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 you can't take nothing away from what they have done in rap you know but you know it's a it, it, we, it, it's a lot that has been done you know in rap way before amigos ever arrived that's you know you right that's all <laughs> that's right. all You're right <laughs> you know? i'm not no disrespect they, yeah yeah no disrespect i mean especially I when uh they 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 really came with it that's like one of the groups that are out there in the industry that you will say uh, if you have, uh, you know, things to say about the industry, like 
they mumbling or whatever. They was really, uh, they really kill it in rap, you know, as far as their clarity and they, they stay on, on, on point with their chops, you know, and the, and the beats, you know, what else is there to rap? You know what I'm saying? Now, all the other stuff is the other stuff, you know what I'm saying? But when it really comes down to rap, you know, those are the things that, you know, people really <laughs> don't cling to. The lyrics, the style, you know, and so, yeah, you know, but uh, it's good to hear somebody even mention us because of not just because we were rappers that came out that was before, but the 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 lyrics and styles in in uh, beat choice, you know, that's why a lot of people will say they name in the same breath as CVE, you know, that's, you know, so that's an honor too, you know. Hey, that's the first thing that I thought of when I first, first heard them dudes and I heard it, I was like, I was like, you know what? So I think that bad and bougie song too. When I heard that, I was convinced. I was like, oh, definitely. Shit. I definitely. was like, oh, shit. Yeah. That, that was like, uh, that was like all of the rappers too, man. When we was at the life and at the blow, like we was hearing some of the rappers that was out. That we know you niggas took these chops off of y'all niggas to ran. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you know. They but, always but, used to say bone. Do you remember bone coming to the good life? I absolutely no. I, 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 I don't I don't remember them that way, but 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 I know I, I remember know. them in LA and I know they people that from that that uh they fuck with uh when they fuck with easy e was you know at the good life and I know that he had to they I'm sure they was turned on to the good life one way or another. They you brought know, I mean, I even heard. Girl worked for, um, I, I don't recall um, that, but I, I don't recall that. And I've spent many days at the good life. But, you know, I don't recall it. No, that's the urban legend. The urban legend is that the bone came yeah. and they studied y'all and, and, and did the whole thing. <laughs> niggas are sitting in the car. <laughs> Straight up. No, I, don't, I, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> particularly happened that way, you know, but at the same time, uh, I mean, what can I say? I heard the music before it was ever came to LA. It was different. Yeah, it was you, different. You got me smoking right Yeah, and um, the homegirl, uh, I don't know if you know Tiski, that used to come to the good life back oh, in the day. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, remember yeah. I remember Tiski. Yeah, unique is her cousin who produced them. Who produced Bone Thug? Oh, okay. there it is. Girls, uh, baby daddy. Was stuff for them. They he was, was hot in the city like at that time. Hollywood. And she was staying with him in Hollywood, and they were there at the house. And she would play stuff from the blow for them, I mean, from the good life <coughs> the blow, with good life stuff for them, and they was listening. You know, so it's a direct connection. And I just really just want to push it. I ain't trying to be messy per se. I just think it's important for people to understand that y'all exist. And I know people in Europe know y'all exist. And I know people know y'all exist. I'm just speaking generally as the um, architects of certain things. Okay. I think that's important. Just like I was speaking on um, when I, when I heard Biggie, you know what I'm saying? Biggie was in an interview and he was saying that he was, he felt like he was heavily inspired by King T. And most wow. people don't know that. You know, hey, and I still, <laughs> but you know, when I listen to old Biggie, I mean, all I hear is King T. You know, no. but oh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, please. No, 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 no. I was, yeah, say... I was just like, I, but you never, I never heard that from nobody. You know what I'm saying? In those right. times, nobody ever give King T his props for Biggie flow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but when that... you hear, no, oh. and so. That's hard. Or like, you know, Medusa, for example, I remember her at the Good Life wearing goddess gowns and lighting motherfucking incense on stage and all that. Yep. With coast, shout out, shout out. <laughs> but next thing you know, Erica Badu is coming out with that shit. And I, I had heard about her before she came out because Coolio had me going to like record labels and in meetings and all that stuff. And I had heard about Erica Badu before, you know, she came out and she was MC Apple first you know what i'm saying and then all of a sudden she coming with goddess goddess gowns and light incense on the motherfucking stage so i was like what i just saw the other sister yeah doing that. so and I, then I, I think that's that's a recurring thing with good life that you you see stuff 
out there that you've seen before, you know, from good life. You know, yeah. that's just a recurring thing, you know. Not saying that somebody was specifically even biting, but the energy was already out there for a lot of ideas that you see people do that uh, the energy was already out there being done, you know, in different really? ways. Okay, so yeah, I, you know what? I love your positivity with that, and I ain't trying to be messy, but I was just tripping. I tripped off that back then. You know what I'm saying? And, and yeah, Kedar, yeah. I feel like Kedar Massenberg, he was managing the Freestyle Fellowship at that time, and he was around the good life quite a lot. I think he was managing Medusa. And then he started managing Erica Badu. So, I mean... I always, thought, I always thought I always thought Bahama Bahama Dia and uh Medusa. You feel me? I never really thought Erica, maybe Erica came later, but Muhammad Dia, she was the one oh, yeah. that was like out at the same time doing the shit. She was the East Coast goddess. Motherfucking Medusa was the it was the West Coast goddess. So they knew of each other too. You know what I'm saying? It yeah. was just yeah, like, the energy was out here. Yeah, okay. they, they they I, I was and just was, waiting. I was waiting for the day Bahamadia did to pull up at the good life, and it was gonna be like, yeah, <laughs> it's on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's so funny. Sister, yeah. in Atlanta, yeah. sister in Atlanta, I can't think of her name. She was married to Gip, big Gip. Her yeah. too, same energy. Joy. Like Joy, Joy, yeah. I thought she was so awesome. Her energy was just mad. Um, oh, her yeah. and Heinz working on an album together that'll be out in January. Uh, Heinz. Ooh, Heinz. Heinz, Heinz produced it, producing an album with her that'd be out in January. What is Joy's professional name now? Is it Joy Gilliam? Joy. Yeah, Joy Gilliam, but she's by Joy. Yeah, just Joy. He's amazing. Yeah, I always, I always liked her music. Yeah, always the music really good. The album that they're working on is really good. And, and uh, okay, so this is the live documentary. Um, Ava DuVernay. Uh, is there a This Is the Life two coming out, or have you heard from Ava? <laughs> Uh, I always see Ava in, the, in in doing her thing. She's doing her thing, which is lovely to see. You know, yeah. uh, I, I, I don't know if there needs to be a This is the Life too, but uh, I thought that's what I heard. Know, I think she did a great job. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't know. Uh, I'm just saying, I think she did a great job on the first one. Yeah, how would that work? Reckless, it's been what, 20 years, 10 years? Like, see where y'all at today. Shit, that'll be good for me. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you do that. I was only in there for literally a second. Shit, tell me stuff for boys. That's going to blow up real fast. <laughs> I thought that's what I heard. I that's thought so that's funny. What I you feel me? But, you know, I know that's they're working, that. on, they're working on press. I, I, like, I like to hear that one. I like to hear that. Uh, Y'all yeah. haven't heard from the system? No, no, not on that tip. Not at all. Not at all. You know, uh, but uh, what can you say? I mean, she's a she's a good lifer. She she uh, Forever. whether she's going, yeah, whether she, I mean, she she's still doing the most with that video, which is amazing. You know that hey. that I, I I love what she has uh done to put us out there on the map like that. You know, to where because we haven't been interested in you know, putting ourselves out there on the map in a way that, you know, uh, rappers of today put themselves out there. We, you know, we, we, we stay true to this underground shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We, we, we not even worried about it like that, but at the same time to have somebody from, from the, from, from the, uh, the clique that, that, still represent like that and, and put it out there like that and, and mash and let everybody see, that's so dope. You know, what can you say to that shit? It is, man. You God know? is great. The creator is yeah. awesome. Right. Um, yeah. uh, yeah, you so know. that goes what in with, okay. You get likes oh. from her. That's every, she means, you know, I get a like on a post on Instagram every once in a while from Ava and stuff. Sons of my pictures yeah, and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the mix. Do y'all yeah. talk to the other cats, like the uh, Jurassic Five brothers? I killed Charlie Tuna. Uh, I, I, I kind of, I kind of hit, uh, uh uh, me and the kill, you know, back and forth, you know, every once in a while, you know what I'm yeah. saying. He's I'm like Charlie up there with Char you, Rex. Charlie yeah, Charlie Mobile. stay in Mobile. He stay out here, so every now and then I, I might bump into him. You know, it's been a minute though, but yeah, so yeah, everybody's yeah, still cool though. 
Peace, uh, Jupiter. Uh, uh, Man, I would I'm love just, to hear from Peace. I haven't yeah, heard from Peace in so long. Skilo. Yeah, you Jupiter's know. on the album. Dope. Shout yeah. out, Jupiter. I hey, yeah, yeah, Jupe. I, I I talk to Jupe every now and then too. You know what I'm saying? That that dude, yeah. buddy. Yeah. What about yeah, AC, uh, AC. Or, uh, abstract? Who? Abstract group, Mike and Nine. AC. Uh, AC made it on the album too. Yeah, you know. So I mean, if you talk about you know, so yeah, the life. album itself, I say that that we collaborated with quite a few people that musically, but also. We got, you know, uh, Cast from Freestyle Fellowship plus uh, the Rifle Man on there. We even got uh, uh, CR. Uh, Jam. Yeah. Shout Mr. CR, out. that he, he, he represents the blow to the fullest to this day. You know, that that uh, he's on the album killing me. You know, it's, 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 it's uh, a lot of your favorites killing it that, that, it, and, you have, you know, us doing our thing, but but I, I like the approach that that Rec took on this album. You know, he 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 uh he laid back a lot, but did a lot of the hooks. He's more into recording some of the young cats out there in Marino Valley, and they like fucking with the auto tune and shit like that. And so he started fucking with the auto tune on his own level. You know, totally different coming at it like on a a a, a good life. You know. Uh, way you know, meaning that you know it's 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 not you know what you want to hear if you if you're doing it like everybody else, you got to do it different. You know what I'm saying? And so he did a lot of stuff that that on the album that that sound totally different from all the stuff that you would hear, you know, uh, uh, with auto tune. So if you want to hear some that's some, some auto tune shit that's totally that's different, but but killing it on some hip hop shit, you know what I'm saying? You you'll love this album on that shit on that level, you know. So, but uh, he did get the 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 one song off the streets, which you know that's another thing that Rec talk about the streets different than anybody I know. You know what I'm saying? He he he, he talk about it like almost in a medical physical type of way, but Red do it too. But 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 you know Rec do it more more from a from a uh, more from a gangster way, you know. That that he talk about it, but but he, you know, so I, I I love it. I love you know the the wordplay that you get into when you when you talk about it. You know, it, it takes it you know there because that's that's something that the streets we try to like avoid negativity and everything. But motherfucking, you still from where you from? You still live where you live? You still you know grew up where you grew up all your life? You know, it's not you know it's you know. You got to, you don't have to, you know, it's going to be a part of you. It's in your DNA, you know. That's what makes you become OG status when you use wisdom, when you exercise wisdom. Yeah, that, not there it is. You know, and you move in that way because you don't want to have to get into a fight or, you know, even yell, really. You don't want to have to argue with people at this age. You just want to kind of be peaceful. Don't go places. Yeah, right, right. Rick is a granddaddy. <laughs> you a grandpappy? Yeah, I'm a first grandpa. Yeah, that that's 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 lovely. That's lovely though. I love it. Congratulations. Yeah, Pretty much you. everybody is, but my old mama ass. Hey, that, that's how I, I, I'm a I'm a great god poppy from from him from his daughter. Yeah, you know, yeah, because my, my my daughter is his is his grand his god baby. Hey. I, I, I can say that too, you know. <clears throat> Frog is probably the he the best grandpa. He probably the the best the best uh guy pops ever. That Aww. dude, that dude. Why my daughter was growing up, how old is Sugar Shane now? Okay. Twenty five, something like that. She I think she like twenty five. So like, man, from the time of her being young in school all the way shit still to now. But this dude didn't miss. He didn't miss a a a. A new school year ever. This dude was sending clothes, boxes, and all everything. Like we go school shopping, and then Frog is coming. It's a pack, big ass package coming with with with, with Frog. You know, from 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 him and his lady. You know what I'm saying? Like they 
They they they literally yeah. they they did their thing. They did. I they love thing. seeing you do your thing because raising yeah. a daughter. You know what I'm saying? That's that's big things right there. You know, especially yeah. in, in this world today. Woo I'm not tripping. I'm not. You know. Uh, I'm not. If I had a daughter, it would be a. It would, I think it would be a bigger job. That's all I'm gonna say. You know what I'm saying? That's it. It would be a bigger job. It's a lot going on. You know, it's a lot going on for sons. You know, too. You know, but at least I, I, I'm a man, so I I feel you know more equipped to like you know be able to like guide him on manhood stuff or whatever. But uh, it's a lot going on with you know the females and just like you said, the situation where. She even went out of town with her homegirls and her homegirls did her like that. That's so, you know, it's like you going to learn that who your homegirls is and who they not before you go out of town. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like from people, Wait, you know, Wait. you know, and so that, 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 that's, that's major. You know what I'm saying? That's major. I don't think Bainey would end up in a situation like that because she's going to know, she's going to know a lot from her dad and, Around her, her, her grandma, everything, you know, even her mama, everything, you know. So, so it, but it's a lot to raise a woman, you know. And I, saw, I, I watched him do it, you know, in a phenomenal job, bro. You know, hey, that, man, that. I appreciate it because I always tell them, like, Vani and Kari, yeah, y'all dudes, man. Hey, but you ain't the only one. Red uh, did it too, you know. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, yeah, Red yeah. did it before me. <laughs> you feel yeah, me? yeah, exactly. And, and, and the, hey, the thing is crazy is that I thought like I had my son. I was like, damn, I had my son first, blah blah blah, you know. But then when I had my daughter, because I was still on this son thing. But when I had my daughter, that was like, oh, this is my baby girl. Like this, this is my my oh. little doll. You know what I'm saying? That I can play with and hold it and it's not on uh, hey so so that's how i felt i was like damn and 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 it's just a different kind of love not to say that i don't love my children the same i love them the same but my love yeah. that I have for the girl was like like she the only one they 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 get on my head right now and as mad as i might be i'm still like all right because <laughs> them is the girls man they win even even my sister you know what I'm saying? Uh, she really wins. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'll say show. nice things about her. Because if I don't, boy, she be on my head. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I don't know how to bring it back to everything, but I'll say that this is, you know, the one of the biggest things about CVE is definitely bigger than a rap group, period. You know, that we've been homeboys forever, you know. Loving each other, man. Loving being around each other. Loving each other's energy, the music, the everything, you know, besides the music. You know what I'm saying? That it's a whole nother level when you go around people over 30 years, you know, strong, you know, like fucking with each other on a daily basis, you know, and watching everybody grow coming out of this one place, you know, yeah. watching everybody yeah. grow, you know, and, but it's still, you, you hear... The camaraderie, you know, on the album, you know, what can you say? We we own one on this album, so don't yes. sleep. You ain't talking a lot about it. We it's 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 a killer, you know. That's what I'll say. You know, that's that's what I wanted. You're you're representing exactly what I wanted this show to like be about, which is just showing brotherhood and unity and positive and progressiveness and forward thinking you guys have always been ahead of everything that's got to be annoying sometimes you know because in, in the time <laughs> you don't always know where you're coming from because you're so ahead of every fucking thing and then by the time they catch up you're like you know but anyway i don't know if that's just me but. no 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 because look so the world to hear this a hey, red was the first michael jordan of the recording he was the first <laughs> in his facts, and you look it up on the song because he said, Then all what of a sudden, mean? I hear all of a sudden Jay Z say that he's the Michael Jordan of the recording. Nigga, fuck, no, you're not. Nigga. <laughs> no, nigga, my nigga Riddler is. And I watch, and this is this is like like years before he even said that. Like, and mine was dude, freestyle when I said it, <laughs> right? <laughs> I, 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 I know what I'm talking about. 
talking about then? Y'all know what I'm Ooh. talking about. They yeah. just sucking our fucking creativity from the West and then they take it to the East and the East blow up with it. But they don't be giving us our props. That's my point. And they right. Mean, they, 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 you know, I, 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 I'm over I will say, I, I will, I will say dead, that. Bro. It's That's right. Dead, right. Out, you're right. You're right. It's hip hop dead came out and then what happened? Who 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 came out with his hip hop dead after that, bro? <laughs> and well, I hate to say it because I mean, it's one of my it's yeah, one of my I'm not I'm not I'm not on, on you know on bashing, especially when you got no, somebody no. like 21 <laughs> Savage out here bashing no, no. now. It's not a bash. Get out of here with that shit. Let me clear that up. Yeah, no, I hear you. I hear you. Yes, it's not a bash. Yes, but it's a reality. It's a reality. But but it, at the same time, you know, it's, it, it, it's a it's some it's some other stuff. Somebody might get it twisted, and they you know like like hearing Twenty One Savage say something negative about Nas. I'm like, bro, there's no way you will be making the money you making if it wasn't for Nas making <laughs> hip hop right. as popular as now, it that, is right now that, to make it where. It's the most popular music in in genre. You know what I'm saying? You you're not going to come close to you know being who you are without a Nas. So that's kind of crazy to me. So we definitely not on that kind of shit. But we always it's the energy. Like I you know I, I guess I said it earlier, but it's 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 the, it's so reoccurring where it's things that we've done that we're you know you see other people do it later and it's. To everybody else, it might be the first time somebody seen it, you know, or heard it, or whatever. But not to us, you know. That's we kind of we kind of put a lot of work in, you know. Yeah, I'm not ever disrespecting anyone, and nor am I coming from that no, perspective. I'm not at all. It's love already because they're the ones that came with it. But the and West, some people have West. different goals about you know the music, and 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 our goal was. Totally different from all of them goals, you know. That's it. We was on some. We going we gonna use hip hop to survive, uh, LA mentally, physically, spiritually. You know, not just monetarily. That's that's like the last thing anybody was worried about is doing it monetarily. You know, there's it, too many other things going on. You know, so we grow up to be better men and understand life, and you know. That that we probably didn't get taught and and you know are here today you know uh, blessed you know because of the way we came about we came at hip hop period you know that's it you know that's a different that's a different type of hip hop you know priestly stat no not using that terminology but a high valued spiritual good person would say something like that that's very good fish thank you for sharing. Yeah. That. Well, as you see, I'm still going by nigga fish. So I'm still a nigga. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, I mean, nigga got to make it in this world, and and make it making it spiritually is a way of making it too. We we always use the motto "gotta come up," you know. And we wasn't just never talking about. It was never just talking about financially in no kind of way. That was like the last thing we was talking about, really, you know. That was the last thing we was really talking about. We were talking about coming up on a lot of other things, mentally, spiritually, you know, and, uh, and yeah, yeah, vocally, we always came up vocally and beats, you know, we, we, we never slacked on no beats, you know, we've always been on a level with this hip hop shit, you know. What up, what up? What up, Louie? What up? Who this West one? Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got your glasses on. See, you can see me. I can barely see you. <laughs> that's Miss Wreck, y'all. For for those that's looking at the video, this is that's Miss Wreck who's coming in to represent. Right on. So I yeah, that, that you ask you ask you ask who else was in CBE. There, there's another member right there. It's a lot of us. Right on, right on. Yeah, I'm just giving right. honor and respect to my fellow homies. You know, we really are a community. We were a community. Everybody knew each other, you know, generally at least. You know what I mean? Yes. Yes. Spent That's time with each other, fun. broke bread with each other, you know, or at one point in time or another, you know, and, and definitely, you know, share stages, you know, and, and, and music. share music. 
Have you know. done that, that's for sure. They share music, and that's important because at this point, you know, I have been trying to acquire some production for my project, and and quite a lot, not all, but some, you know, they like they want to get broke off, broke money. I ain't really uh, paycheck. I can give you a little piece of my check. So before I present anything, I'm gonna try to have at least some kind of budget of something to present this the people I want to work with. But um, I get it. You know, we live in a time where everything's so crazy expensive. You know, and they sure. raise the prices. Did y'all notice the food prices this week? <laughs> it went up oh, like triple. Hey, mm -hmm. Gas went down, but chicken wings is at an all time. <laughs> that was before. Oh, hey, hey, if you go to Smart and Final, you're about to pay thirty eight dollars for a ten pound bag of wings. You feel me? <laughs> so you need so 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 you need. Oh look. See, right now they got some Tysons in there, right? At $24. You come for a pack. So yeah, because like Tyson's, that's why. Like 120, uh, you I'll be right back. You, you, you just, the FBE where you can get everything you need. No, nah, you got to come up. It's on all levels. You feel me? Yeah, you got to come up. It's all levels. So I got to let y'all. It's just 685 for a dozen. Yeah. Eggs, that's ridiculous. I seen I seen that. I've just seen that. But like now, right now, I'm I'm not I'm I'm really not eating too much beef and all of that too much right now. That's like good. like good. like really like it, it it's not just because of that, it's just because it's like I could just literally feel it moving through my body and, and, and feeling effed up. So <clears throat> that that sometimes determines your mode of you your everyday living. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It, it it it's just like if you if you working around crumpled paper all the day, all your shit gonna come out crumpled. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's just like real. So 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 now that I'm aware of that, you know, I have to start treating my body different. You know. You making me buy my last pack of beef stuff. <laughs> no, I mean to me, like, look, like I can't, I can't, I couldn't wait to Saturday, like tomorrow, Saturday. Oh yeah, I give me an In and Out burger. You know what I'm saying? I, I give me a burger once a week, and that's my okay. fix. But through the week, I go, I go through so to eventually where I don't have to do that, but I have to have <laughs> some type of intake of, of 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 beef or some type of protein like that you know what i'm saying because you don't want to you 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 don't want to want to you don't want to like like a lot of men don't want to have a whole lot of estrogen you know what i'm saying but some is okay you feel me so like like it's so you have to treat the you have to treat the beef the same way i believe you know right uh i didn't even i hadn't eaten beef in like probably 15 years till i was with dino this fool got you eating beef, dog. No, hey, hey, tell him I said what's up. Tell him hey. we said what's up. Hey, 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 Red. Hey, you remember when you first had had had, had a steak after all them years? I asked you how it tastes. <laughs> What'd you say? He said. <laughs> tell him that nigga. What'd you say? What'd you say? I don't even remember now. He said that yeah. shit was good. <laughs> <laughs> it sure was, though. Hey, 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 I think you might have said. I ain't even going to front. Okay, so moderation is key is what the Chinese say, right? Right. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to say her name, but one of my homegirls, she, she's vegetarian, was vegetarian, and she went to Chinese medicine school, and she learned that, you know, they eat chitlins, they be eating pork and all that for medicinal purposes. They say pork has yeah. medicinal purposes chicken had medicinal purposes you know it ain't like for the every day but like when the weather changes to cold they would eat certain meats and they cook them in the proper way so and it wouldn't be you know i guess whatever you know that makes sense i i, I know that might be true not she, might be true it's true she didn't <laughs> she was shocked because you know she really was on some vegetarian thing and they told her no 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 we just moderation is key you pork can do whatever. Wow. You Get you they some keep, pork foot soup. They keep, yeah, they they, they cold <laughs> shit is keep <laughs> water, hot water flowing through their body. They chi. 
They keep tea, they keep <laughs> soups, they keep liquid all day. And that's what they do. Okay. And then yeah, they, my lady it, goes to a Tibetan doctor that's into that whole Tibetan medicine and he prescribes her diet of stuff that she should eat, shouldn't eat, and just different things. Yeah, for, certainly. That's for me, like during a urine analysis and your blood pressure and stuff. And he, you know, eat hey, right for your blood. Crazy, bro. They, they told my mom after being a vegetarian forever, the doctor was like, you got to stop. You can't not, not eat no type of meat at all. He's like, you have to. And 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 I remember her going back to eating it and she was just getting sick. Like the first couple of days, then after that, oh, she fell right in line. <laughs> it was yeah, like, you oh. don't have to though, because like people in India, they eat butter and ghee and other stuff, but they don't eat meat. A lot of them vegetarian. They love they it. Have long been vegetarian. But but see that I just found a place that got butter ghee. Huh? Ghee. ghee. I just That's found it. a place that got some good. Uh, what is it called? Butter ghee, like y'all was saying. Like I've been eating a lot of uh, Lebanese food lately. Yeah. A lot of Lebanese food I've been eating Very lately because good. I got diverticulosis, so I, I I I can't eat a lot of stuff uh, like that with the diverticulosis because uh, uh, I need. Yeah, high fiber diet for me. So, you know, I'll be going veggied out, but I was always cool with it. And plus, I could cook. So whatever I want, I'll be like, all right, I just these vegetables will be seasoned up so good. And it tastes like it's a steak on top of it. <laughs> yes, I was vegetarian. I was vegetarian for like four and a half years. And then I was vegan for like six months. And then I got about five months pregnant and I needed hot wings every day. Every day. <laughs> Yeah, but, hey, um, hey, and all y'all when y'all get pregnant want to blame it on the baby. <laughs> oh, the baby day. want hot wings. <laughs> hey, hey, you just gonna squab if I didn't get no hot wings from that route. So <laughs> like <laughs> one of the first time I had a all veggie type of plate was red, like because they had we had the garden in the back. <clears throat> He'd go back there, boom, boom, had spinach, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. Hey man, shit. He, we had some rice and some vegetables and all that on it. That you used to have his that girl cooking a whole up. bunch of stuff. Hey, yep. we can trip. Hey, yep. hey, me and Frog could go to Subway and get a veggie delight in a minute. Put the chips inside of it. Give me all mustard and, and, and it's going. You know what yeah, I'm we saying? love veggie delights. <laughs> yeah, we love those. Hey, you know, I had a student. I had a student. She was half Korean, half Mexican. And I learned how to make this stew, this soup called meoguk. They call it the birthday Mail soup. Book. Yes, yeah, a seaweed beef soup. They use it as mm. this, and it's good. Like, man, when that Corona stuff was popping off, I had definitely made some male gook, and that shit on it helped move our situation faster. I don't know how to explain it, but it was seaweed yes. and yeah. seaweed is like amazing. Yeah, so that's I do beets. I I juice beets mm -hmm. and carrots and apples. Wow! Wow! Uh, you juice beets, carrots, and apple. Ooh, yeah. when I was a kid, I hated my boy beets. Me and my cousin David was like, "That's why I juice it." It, I mean, oh, and a lot of lime and lemon. Mm. Hey, my my little cousin when we was little, he used oh, to be like, oh, yeah. to "Make us eat this dirt. It tastes like dirt." <laughs> I was like, "You right." My son would say that. I peeled the <laughs> beets. I used to not peel them. What did you say, yeah, really? Like beets. beets taste like dirt. I said, "But throw some celery in that juice." Right, I got some celery on it, but you know, I was gonna separate. I was gonna juice that separately and drink so, that. So, what is it? The the beets is good in the juice. It's like the sugar for it because obviously, even though it tastes like dirt, it it, <laughs> it has a, a it, 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 it it it. I know it has sugar. It got to be the sugar yeah. for it. Yes, sir. But also, beet does have beet sugar. You're right. But I do it because I remember when an ex-boyfriend of mine, his uncle had cancer and he juiced beets for like three months straight and he got rid of cancer. Damn. So oh, I wow. just, I've been ju I mean, I mean, I think my skin looks pretty good. You know what I'm saying? We might need to, hey, hey, me and you might need to talk. We might go ahead on. Hey man, look, thank you for that, man. You feel me? We might have to get some, uh, some seaweed, dry it out, some beets, dry it out, grind it up together, put it in one of my seasonings. You know what I'm saying? I make, I, I'm going to call it something. It's a healing <laughs> something. You know what I'm saying? Come up with that. That's yeah. I'm just See, saying. I, that, I should that, be yeah. a naturopath. 
homeopathic doctor. That's what I really enjoy learning about herbs and things like that and how to heal your body and that stuff. And ashwagandha. Mix that with some turmeric. Mix me with some turmeric. You know what I'm saying? Turmeric. Curry and everything. I curry. I had a curry turkey last yesterday. I, I did curry a turkey. Yes. Yeah. I'm a big, I'm I'm probably like, yeah, yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a Mediterranean uh uh Jamaican seafood Mexican. You feel me? I don't them is my top. <laughs> That's like, right. Mm -hmm. Now I them is my top. Ever That'll keep it healthy eating like that. Hey, I remember. I remember, I remember one time, hey, Red, I remember one time we, we, we was in San Francisco and I ain't never had a falafel, bro. Hey, hey, once he got one, he got, he was like, hey, I got one falafel. I must have bought like seven falafels before I left. <laughs> I'm not a fan I, like, like falafel, but I'll eat it. It's cool. Hey, but that was the first, that was my first time i got introduced to to to, to lebanese that's food true. you know what i'm that's saying dope. that's yeah. dope i love that you're open to that because sometimes people are very open-minded about eating different cultures food but that's a very good i got hip to afghanistani food out here in las vegas it's basically like greek but uh, you know they all eat kind of the same they're all right next to each other yeah. it's very mediterranean too i love how they make the rice you make rice delicious. You know what I'm saying? I remember when I was a teenager, I was like, I'm never going to eat rice when I grow up. My mother fed us rice damn near every day. Yeah, that's something. that Basmati rice. That's that hook rice. Yeah. That's the real Persians. The real Persians is going to eat that hook rice. You know, that's what mm -hmm. I call it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah. I'm sorry. We got all into that. Riddler and, and, and fish. Um, But that's it. I want people to know there's dimensions to artists and like you know what we into for sure. What inspires us? Sure. You know your wives, your children, your grandchildren, your brothers, your mother, your father, your sisters, everybody. And I just had so much love for all of y'all, man. Just really, everybody. Shout out, shout out, everybody. I appreciate that. And that's that. You know, um, I came from Chicago. I'm from Chicago, and I remember Riddler. You said you were like from Peoria or something, right? No, no, no. My mom grew up on the south side of Chicago. Okay. It's been a long time. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm from I'm from all over the place. But my mother was a hippie. Chicago mostly though. And then was you know. That's that's what that's all you told me back when we was in the, uh, younger. You was like your mom was a hippie. I was like, shit. <laughs> hey, but, still a hippie. hey, on my soul. It did. It, I mean, it didn't matter because shit. You, hey, you got one of those those kind of souls too. You feel me? You know what I I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You feel me? So like, it, I mean, shit. It is what it is, man. But yeah, that's the purpose <laughs> of this program. It's just to um, acknowledge y'all, say peace, and um, word and reintroduce to the youth because uh, you know the youngsters need to have a documentation of. Who y'all are to this to this uh, to this life to this music life? But well, yeah, well, we beats. tell them villain. <laughs> we uh we we make music. We make CDs and and, and tapes and and uh well we don't make tapes anymore. We make wax. We uh we sell T-shirts. Matter of fact, let me show you. Yes, so, we sometimes still make tapes too. That's dope. Yeah, but we'll be back. Who plays them? Oh, that's hey, dope. Y'all can see people playing tapes. People playing tapes again. Tapes and wax outsell CDs right now. People buy tapes more than CDs right now. Just I so heard you know. people trying to bring tape CDs back. I'm saying hey, they should. They should have never took tapes, tapes back. And records are more popular than CDs. I put out a tape a couple years ago. Um, when I was from an album that I made when I was in Uganda. Called um, Afro Mutations. It okay. came out on cassette, but it's on Spotify and all that stuff. It's an instrumental album, and it's on all the media. Oh yeah, that's dope. That's what I heard before, and that's the country I remember. I saw pictures of you in Uganda. How was that? Uh, life changing. One of the best times I had in my life away from home. You know, I was there for two and a half months. And I really got to 
soak up the local scene and you know be around the food the music the everything just live the life why why uganda um some fans from greece from when i was in greece some guys who were there started a film school in uganda and from being there for a couple years they started doing like a music night an open mic and that's like the thing and it turned into them wanting to do a festival and it was the first year of their festival and they brought me out um promote the festival to do some workshops um of recording and production and stuff and to perform the festival so they brought me out early to go do tv with them and all the every all the ads and stuff that they're doing for it and like um yeah it worked pretty well and the festival was a big success they do it every year now and um next year they're trying to have whole ce come back for it but I did an instrumental album that I made while I was there. And um, when I came home, kind of mixed it and sent it back and they put it out on their label. And Wow. Wait a minute. That is incredible. That's a super incredible thing to do. So, okay. So aside from not hearing you speak, did you fit in or did you look different or what's that? <laughs> Yeah, no, nah, he looked just like as long as I didn't and everybody thought I was Ugandan. Some people when I'm talking to them and I'm like, when I'm on the airplane coming, I was like, the person I was talking to is like, Yeah, but you're coming back home, right? And like, no, I'm from America, born, raised, never, you know. You <laughs> look like you're from Uganda. <laughs> the thing now is because you know, a lot of us say we're not African, we're Indian. Some of us are saying this. And then uh, I, I know, I remember my grandmother saying some of us were already here for a very long time, you know, before the enslavement. And then some people are going so far as to say that didn't even happen. The slavery thing didn't even happen. <laughs> I've heard it all. But I did, I was mentioning this on the previous podcast. I was work, working with my 10th graders with this book called Sugar Changed the World, right? And it's talking about the sugar plantations on the islands, right? Like the, the Jamaicas and the Trinidads and, you know, Haiti and Dominican I'm and all that. Hey, did, you, did, you guys, did you guys know that um, only 4% of those ships came to America? The other 96 went to Central and South America, like Colombia, Honduras, oh, South of Brazil. More, there's yeah. more Africans in Brazil than in America, you know. Brazil has the highest concentration of Africans anywhere outside of the African continent. Right, you said it. Yeah. That's wow. Right. Yeah, in the Caribbean, America took the took the smallest amount because they didn't want to have the problems that those other places had, where it's too many and they'll take over. Right. <laughs> like, they, they shut it down. America, so they they kept smaller numbers here. And then they doubled because they said within a, a, a generation, which in politics is 20 years, within 20 years, the the population had doubled. That's because the white folk had babies with us. OK. And so those offspring became the, the, the ends. That's why they did the whole made them slaves. Like if your mama was a slave, you was a slave, even though your daddy was the white man. Yeah, that's where that came from. That. But um, that's terrible. Yeah. But um, yeah, you're right. They closed it down. But a lot of people don't know that, right? And then oh, it's just, man, that's what they don't want us to do. And here we go, full circle. Here we go. I'm trying to find critical. Wait, hold up. I was going to try to put it up here. Let me just type it. Goes right back to critical base. Tell me. Critical base theory. Because people don't want people to know the real history of nothing. Right? Yes. Exactly. Oh, hey, when I was when I was in Trinidad, I never knew it was so. It was so many Indians. They have Trini Indians there. It was just like I was like, wow. It just tripped me out because it's everything you never thought. You you know, but when you get there, and then <clears throat> I was staying with people in the city of Kawangas, you know, so I was able to be in the city. And I was just tripping, like, damn, you know what I'm saying? These Indians, are here. yeah. Most of the people there are, it's it's like damn near 50 50 mix of um Africans and Indians, and then yep. and then a lot of the people are, are a mixture of the two. And a yeah. lot of the black people who are there in Trinidad came 
from America. A lot of them came from here to Trinidad yep. during yep. the American Revolution. The ones who fought on the side of the British, they evacuated them out of here and dropped them in Trinidad. Interesting. I never yeah. knew. Interesting. And y'all talking about indigenous people, not Indians from India, correct? No, we talking about no, India. India, yeah. because they came with they came with um the they came with the British. Yeah, the oh, British. Okay. So I didn't know I didn't know. Yep. Yeah, uh, Jamaica all this culture. is new to me, so I was just making sure. Culture, like, like Calypso, which is the music that became reggae. Calypso is a mixture of Indian music and African music. It's what yep. Calypso is. It's wow. And they out there. <laughs> reggae. But even like the term like Raga is a is an Indian term. Raga music is Indian music from India. <laughs> you know, like um, the Sadhus have, the Indian priests had dreadlocks. Wow. Ganja, with uh, ganja comes from the Ganges River in India. That's right. Stuff, real powerful weed that they call um, the Kali weed, you know, Kali bud. When they call it that, they're talking about Kali, the goddess Kali, the Indian goddess of force. That's where that term comes from. Like, even then, curry comes from India, you know, the old curry and food. It's all. The I did not know that for a long time. Together. Even the Jamaican accent, you can hear it sound like. It sound like African, Irish, and Indian mixed together. Yeah. You know, put those three together. Mm. Hey, Jamaican hey, 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 and the Indians is out there. They they patch it out, boy. You be like, well, oh, hold up, because you ain't expecting them to come talking like you. You feel me? They own it. That's real. <laughs> kind of talk like that. <laughs> it's part of the way they sound in India, but it but it's mixture from being because they put the the blacks, the Irish, and Indians all together, kind of like you know, like. That, you right. That's it. Did you know that, like the British, whatever Lord so and so, he has sent like a thousand boys ages ten to fourteen, and then the next year he sent a thousand Irish girls ages ten to fourteen to Jamaica. Yep, yep, and that's why they all be having last names like McFarland, you know. And yeah, Irish and African, them Jamaicans sound like the Irish, and yeah, you're right with the Indian too. Yeah, and I didn't know the story behind the story wow. too. Read Sugar Changed the World, which talked about a. It was an Indian woman, and she married this Jewish dude. So they were talking about their ancestors' experiences working with the sla- with the plantations down there. So it was just a very interesting book. I don't mean to get all nerd on y'all, but <laughs> yeah, hey. but sugar yeah, it's co- very fascinating. But it's mm. sugar and coffee, sugar and coffee. Mm. Those two together. Word the whole slave trade was built on or those That's two things. Deep. basically sugar and coffee. And they would just hire people going, they didn't expect them to <laughs> live <laughs> past the season. They didn't expect them to, you know, because they just treated them like animals. It's terrible. Yeah, it's you know terrible. they bringing that up because reparations is enough, you know, they bring that up every election. Oh, reparations. People are like really trying to figure out who would actually be the people needing to pay. You know, would it be the, <laughs> would it be the, would it be the who like all of them? You know, that conversation comes up and stuff. But, um, and then people are afraid that Kanye might actually run in 2020. Hey, who, who t- okay, time out. Who, who was, who was running in? I mean, no, 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 no. You, st- before you said Kanye, you said what? Before you brought up Kanye, what did you just say? No, I did just flip it, didn't I? Um, I don't know. I've been smoking. Oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Hey, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hell no. I think you said something about, uh, damn. All right. Anyway, we're going to get to Kanye now. If he run, oh, well. Fuck oh, it. the plantation. We was talking about that. I was saying they would hire two people, not expecting them to survive. And then um, we was talking about who? Reparations. Right, right, right. Who do, okay. Who that? yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. What's easy? This is easy. What? Go back to who was it? Who was who was the main folk that was running whatever that was passing laws and doing that? That's who you go back and... and, and you date back to see who was doing it then. In the government. Then, that, that is the people. The federal that, government who okay, let it that all happen. Yeah, that is the people that know us. It's uh, a no, the it's, that's the yeah, I mean, it's, it's the obvious. It's, it's the government. It was, before, it was it, before there was a government. Okay, was, so look. So, okay, so you don't look. get reparations for before the government. You get reparations for after the government was formed and kept it going. The okay, British, so look. Right? Every race. <laughs> 
every race that was sitting in the government at that time that passed on it, if they was in the government when they formed it, whatever race they were, that's the race that's got to pay back the reparation. <laughs> And no wow. race got to pay back. It's just the federal yeah. government. That's who was responsible. It, it's the federal government. Okay, itself. well then, what well in the federal I government? So that ain't gonna happen. It's, yeah. <laughs> well, that's gonna it come back. Gonna to you. Watch, watch. It's that's my come. point. It ain't gonna happen. I, 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 I won't even be surprised if it does happen. But, but at the same time, you know, uh, what do we expect out of it? What, do, what are we? You know, like where are we gonna be at? What are what what are our goals anyway? Let's also get that together. You know, if 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 uh that's coming our way, what's gonna be different that we that's never have to worry about well, coming to the federal government for what they did to us again? How about that? Not saying that, not saying that that will be uh something that that you know needs to be, but I'm saying that. Uh, where are we at as as those recipients? You know, what are we gonna do together? You know, let's mm -hmm. let's have yeah. something okay. that we do together. Everybody deserves to do something by themselves. Uh -oh. we, we've been through a lot as a people, and it's a lot of people that need a lot of things. But also, let's not forget doing something uh, together. It's too much other talk. I mean, it was kind of embarrassing to hear. You know, yay, talk about being jealous of Jews. You know what I'm saying? We, we, it's a lot going on with black people that are very uh, rich, that are very, you know, uh, influential, that are out there uh, making big moves, that we should be together enough to where we should not be jealous talking about something like that. That's embarrassing. It so, really is. So, so, so in my it eyes, is. I, I, Go ahead, Red. Mm -hmm. I, no, I was gonna say in my eyes, <clears throat> in my eyes, I probably I I I I feel that, and then at the other half of it, I don't know. It probably really doesn't matter to me how he feel about the Jews. When in my mind, hey, when I I grew up at Venice and we used to sing Father Abraham and, and it as a song. You know what I'm saying? If many sons have Father Abraham. I'm one of them, and so are you. So if they telling me now, when I look back, if that, so it it makes me feel like shit. We was already original Jews anyway, so it shouldn't matter. It sh it, it shouldn't matter if he if he blurt blurts out his 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 opinion because that's what it is. Even if he if he was white and he said it, it didn't matter. But in my mind, I know what the who 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 the original Jews are. And I mean, not that that's that's not what we talking about with me. But I personalized it like that. Like, okay, so if he talking about you those, personalized it, but it's people who whether they're the original Jews or not, who are Jewish, and for the last thousand years have been persecuted in Europe and been going through these things that we didn't we haven't even been going through it that long right. <laughs> Africans you know like who've been dealing with the same campaign against them and these certain things so like I respect the fact that they've lived this experience and if you say something they coming after you like and ain't nothing wrong with that because we because you do have the right to your opinion and to say whatever you want to say, but you also are accountable for your words and actions, and people that are united will hold you accountable. <laughs> you know, I get it. Accountable for what you say. But like, yeah, well, like Dave Chappelle said, it's just you know, even if you notice it, it's just a coincidence. Something you should never speak about. Okay. Yeah, but we also gonna be united on make it make sense too. If you if you try to hand out some some kind of punishments, you know, like what they try to hand out to Kyrie, like man, I don't, I ain't never heard. They not even they not the government. Well, how in the world is the government that they 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 they, they trying to hand down six things? You know that the government is not handing down to to police officers that shooting unarmed people. How about that? You know what I'm saying? Like they let's let's get those six things handed down to them first. 
let's 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 do this. The let the government should be doing that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's you know we all here in America. It shouldn't be no killing of unarmed people because of they color in 2022. And you know this is too much, bro. And, and you know, let's, money, let's make it make sense. sense. That's but that's been happening since day one. It ain't changed. That's no, I know, but I'm I'm talking about the handing okay. down of the punishments. Let's 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 make sense out of it. We're gonna make sense out of it today. How about that? You, you said with social media well, and everything like that. We're we, we, we gonna make sense out of it today. Nobody you know, respect those are speech. those aren't punishments from the government, those are punishments that come from social pressure. Like and from that's, pressure from that, side interest groups that you know but, that don't but, override but, something that should be why, done why by the government. Why, How about that? You know, it well, shouldn't be overriding somebody, stuff that go. You know, but, but yeah, it is. For their, why should somebody be punished for their for their opinion? If if free if it's freedom of speech, then that should be exactly what it is. And it should be on, it, wait. It should be freedom honored. Of speech it should be is honored. Only it should be honored like that. And, wait, because but, because your premise is wrong, reckless. That's why I'm stopping. Your premise is wrong. Freedom of speech is only guaranteed by the federal government. No person or corporation has the right to honor your free speech. Only the government cannot impede your free speech. You can't say whatever you want to say in my house. You can't say whatever you want to say on Facebook, which is in their house, or Instagram, what? which is in their house. You don't only have free speech when it comes to the government, and that's it. That's what's in the Constitution. You oh, have no free speech in any workplace. You have no free speech in anybody's house, and even to what you say freely with your free speech, you're still accountable. If people want to shut you down for it, that's their free speech. Well, and what, right what I'm saying, okay, speech. okay, so, so work, okay, so, like, so, so, uh, so. So speaking it in within the the the, the corporation, I guess. Twitter. Then, then, the then, privately owned entity, which have the right to say what you can and cannot say. I it, it kind of sucks, you know. I'm not I'm not saying that. It, what I, I want you to understand. I'm not trying to say that 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 was right. You know that with the speak out was right, but I'm just trying to speak like them. P people should be able to speak freely. You know what? You what about an indigenous? What about an indigenous person might want, not feel the same way? I, I I think I think you it's uh, an argument that's kind of uh, twisted when you you know he uh, Kanye is not in uh, yay not Kanye yay is not in prison for speaking his mind. No, nope. he's suffering some consequences. From speaking yeah, his mind, he, he got he got punished. He got punished, and that's not fair. Well, corporation, hold on, bro. No, hold on. When you say he got punished, I mean I don't even know what to say. Like I just said, he's not in prison. He's not locked up. That's being punished by the government for hey, doing hey, what you, you know. Okay, okay being so punished. Then, I guess you, you can't. That happened is legal. Everything that happened. Is you can't legal. say that. You can't. Like he just said, you can't say anything. About anybody, mama, and no consequences happen. How about that? You know what I'm saying? It's 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 consequences to anything, but you know it's not it's not you're not being locked up in prison, you know, or anything like that. You know, that's all. That 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 matters. You know. Well, he signed to the NBA, which is a private corporation as yes. well. Yes, and, and that, they have rules. They have. They have rules, just like I get told as a teacher. You know, I can't do certain things, or I could get. Who? Fired. Who are you talking about, Kyrie? Yeah, like you know. Yeah, he's tied to the NBA and the NBA, and and you it, still. I'm saying the punishment that he's getting is coming from pressure that we should also fight against when yeah. it comes to some unnecessary punishments that. You know, we have enough unnecessary punishments that are happening to black people. What Let's is deal with Kyrie. I, I, I'm, bro. I don't even know. That's that might be bad, but I don't know. What's, what's, no, that's not bad. It's, it's good because it's not even. You know, he, he's doing his thing. He as a as a young man, uh, in this world, uh, learning about his history and representing where he feels he needs to, and also. Being a person that 
should not be uh held uh like in a in some kind of situation where he should be over punished for something that he already has apologized for taking down off of his Twitter and not thinking about like that, you know, but you know, this world be on some other stuff when you uh a high paid black person, you know, and when you a high paid black person and you say something against an establishment that's other than you can say anything you want about black people, but when you if you say anything outside, if it if it anything gets even uh looked at as being outside of black people, you know, uh they want to try to overcheck you for. And black people ain't with that. You know, that's all in, in social media show you that, you know, that this is it's it's just like you can come with six things. We can come with six things. The world is watching, you know, and you know, you know that Kyrie is not anti Semitic in any kind of way, and he believe he has beliefs that you might not like. But what does that have to do with basketball when he's not even talking about them? You know, he put up something that he took down, and uh, even for those who took it wrong, apologized about it. You know, and that's it. Oh yeah. You know, okay. what, does that, what does that have to do with like actually putting somebody? on uh, a suspension from the NBA. I don't even think that's legal, and I think that's being talked about right now. You know? Like, it wasn't legal to suspend them, but, you know, but when, uh, but they, you know, it's the same way, but, you know, it's a part of the whole game. They wouldn't have suspended him if it wasn't for all the pressure that was coming from people who, where they money come from. And they sources from people, you know, right? His and that's why that's why we got the same we got the same pressure that we gonna put as as a people. And and I'm saying it right now. I might be nobody, and I'm gonna still say, don't be buying no fake Yeezys. You know what I'm saying? Don't be buying no Yeezys. That's Yeezys by another name. Get out of here with that. You know what I'm saying? Get out of here with that. But that Period. In the story. That's not Period. In the story. You you know, don't do it. Now what? Reckless, you don't think? I mean, we've done movements before successfully. We yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree. I, I, I'm just saying, I, I was just saying, like, some people just, I don't think that you, when, when you say punish him, you, you, you absolutely right. He's not in prison. None of that. I get it. But yeah. people want to pull out. People don't want to. People want to. People want it. And the pull out to me is the punishment. Like we were. Yeah, but I also because because you shouldn't have said that. I, I also up, that, I grew up, not only I grew up, is it. Yeah. I grew up getting that ha- getting shit like that happening to me, man. It's, especially when shit happens, such an oh, I, I, I that shit is fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Bro, so you mad because yeah. I said what I have to say? I, I'm going to not over dramatize it. Maybe I should have. I, I, I shouldn't have said it like that. Maybe I should have found a, a different way to say it. But that's how I I feel. And if I was hiding that or lying about yeah. that, then you would fucking hate me. But people, no, now I you mean, hate me, nigga. Now you. But it's now just you people. Just fucking, it's just the people kind of in those situations exercising. They're right. Like just like. When anybody, like, it's been a lot of white people who've said some wrong shit about black people, and you don't see them no more. They lost their job. They lost everything, too, because black people was like, oh, fire that motherfucker. That, that, nope, nope, nope. We're not going to listen to him. We're not coming to your shop. Nothing to this motherfucker's gone. We're not dealing with this. And yeah, like enough that's voices that's raised loud enough, they gone. Yeah. Yeah. You know, as an ex- 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 example, Roseanne. Nobody's worried about anything that has to do with Roseanne. She's a, you know, people look at her as a racist. How about that? You know, but at the same time, there was a lot of watching Roseanne's show and watching this, even the spinoff, you know, and now the spinoff is not even there no more. It, it, she didn't mess it up for the spinoff. But yeah. bottom line, uh, uh, I was about to say when you were speaking on Kanye, not only is he not punished, 
He's running for president. Shit. Well, you know what I'm saying? What country? What nigga? You you see what country you live in? He's far from punished. You know what I'm saying? That he can also in the same country that he's supposed to be punished in, he's also running for president. So he's cool. You know what I'm saying? And, we just gotta and, and we just gotta won. not let people and, get over punished. That's and, all as and, as a people. He wore the red hat, bro. He got those he some of those folks that he was sponsored, Lil Wayne, all of them dudes, man. Not like I'm not saying it's bad because it's your option to do whatever you want to do. And you know, but at it's the same time, huh? What it's anti-black. <laughs> Real <laughs> shit, that's anti-black. And uh, I, I hey, agree. Hey, you no, know, hey, but... I don't I don't I don't I don't know, but what I will say is that shit, like you said, uh Tamiko, like. Shit, he's running. You know what I'm saying? He's running, and and yeah. he might get votes. He might get votes. He cool. He cool. I mean, he he he, he, he gonna be all right. He's not. He you know whatever he lost, he's still gonna be all right. He's still yay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey, hey for real. Shit, we might you know, have Charleston White run too. Shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Why people people be acting like they be mad at Charleston White, but then a lot of people be agreeing with him too. But he be saying some no, he says some right shit. That, he's that, the king that be some good shit. He's the king of the troll. <laughs> he's the troll. He's the king of the troll. He was on that other thing I, I watched today, and he had his gun out on the thing, and they was mad, and he told him he clicked it back. He was like, you don't never touch me when I got a weapon in my hand like this. Like, like, like but he knows what to do. He said uh, in Chicago. He's trolling. He he's trolling. He's gonna keep that. He's gonna keep that milk. But he but 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 he got he got paper to back up the shit that he do. And 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 and, and a lot of the people like he he does it. But at the end of the day, he's trolling, and these niggas get mad, and that's what he wanted. That's what that's what he want. He's that's a big ass. He's he's worse than Takashi six nine. <laughs> I, 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 I actually think, agree with some of what he be saying sometimes. Hey, yeah, yeah, he said hey, that's the one of the biggest yeah. things about him is that sixty percent. I don't know how what percent he be saying a gang of stuff that that you can agree with. You know, what I'm saying? like he was like, you know, hey, he, so. and he got a gun right there. He said the police is right there in the parking lot. Man, I'm okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell him, hey, officer, yeah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> <laughs> he tell you what he gonna do, and he's serious. He gonna call on your ass. And then he going to get on the live and he going to talk about it and he going to shame you and laugh at you because you fell for the trick. Hey, <laughs> he, he is a smart nigga, though. And he crazy because he was like, every job I done worked at before I leave, oh, yeah, I'm going to get thirty or 40000 I'm suing them. I'm going to get a sexual harassment because one of them niggas is going to be in the... In the in, in in the break room talking about some old girl that they want to get and and yeah I'm the nigga sitting across that's gonna be going there and I'm a mandated so I had a mandate that I done told them mm. and once they tell the other employee hey y'all need to stop because somebody heard y'all talking they know it's gonna only be me in there now I've created a hostile environment you know what I'm saying so I'm like <laughs> I'm, la <laughs> I'm laughing because he's serious. He like, I'm trying to tell you niggas how to get some real money, but you playing, you know? So, and, and it's true. It's true. Because you're going to create a hostile environment because yay, he's silly. Hey, but some of the shit he say is like you said, but I know he's a troll at the same time. He's doing his job and he do it good. You know, that's the thing. He want niggas to hate him. So what? He Uncle Ruckus. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But but he he witty. You know what I'm that saying? That explains a lot. That explains a lot when you said he he's a troll. I get it. I get it. Oh yeah. It. Big time. That's a that's a good thing to be. That's you know, that's something to aspire to for some people, but you know, I don't know what to say about it. Yeah. I, I don't some people like the attention, you know. That's you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> I mean, you, you, they only they only as special as you make them, you know. That's that right there in a nutshell. Hey, that shit is funny, man. Yeah, I got a pepper spray that spray about sixty five feet. Yeah, I'm hit him right there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done with Charleston, man. I'm done. Hey, but hey, but I'm, about to have, I'm about to have dinner. I'm a, I'm gonna have to leave it here. Oh my.
Well, that's a beautiful thing, really. Yeah. You got any last yeah. words? You got a cash app I can post. So if anybody want to donate toward, uh, uh, you know, just to get some love, some lunch money, something. What's your cash app? Good Lord. Hold up, hold up. Oh, oh shit. Right. Mine's, do hold up, Mine's hold up. dollar sign shit. Oh. Hold on. Uh, Rit Lord. Yeah, she uh, said that uh, everybody ready to put. Dollar sign Rit Lord. What? That's it. The dollar sign Rit Lord. All right, let's pull it up here. Yeah. I'm gonna put all your all of them up. But you could put yours and, and your name. Like that's what I did. Hey, somebody hey, did that on some, I did that on somebody else's um podcast, and they let me get away with that. Somebody actually hit me up. I appreciate it. This was fun, and I'm um yeah. We got to do this again. What's yours? Hey. Um, because I want to know what you're using to broadcast. Um, oh, hey, yeah, we can talk offline on that. Just call me. I mean, and when y'all go, y'all going to know Red's at, uh, cash app because it's going to have a man. It's just going to be a black man holding a social study book. <laughs> y'all going to know if he ain't holding a <laughs> book. Reckless, what's yours? What's your cash Hey, cash. mine is dollar sign Chef Shepherd 17. Like this. Right. Chef. Right. Dollar right. sign right. Chef. S H E P P A R D. Nope. S S H P S H E P A R D. You put two P's, somebody else gonna get that cash app. <laughs> you gonna be like young jock begging for it to come. Please give me that eighteen hundred back. Hey, Kiki Russell. Hey. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm a type of yeah. no. <laughs> yeah. What well, well, up, King? That's, That's what I'm talking about. Cali, Cali Nine in the house. That's My right. Nigga what up? What up? That was the cool homie. Oh, I got he stories did. with that dude. <laughs> I had not seen hey. him in years. That's my El Negro. I ain't seen him in years, man. You want him to come man. off for a second? I could give hey, Kinky, hey, well, I mean, I, hey, 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 I remember going up to uh, we uh, going up to 92.3 one night, and they was doing the free start, the freestyle battles. And that nigga Kinky was like, Nigga, I'm on Yucca, ready to fade a sucker. So and I was like, Oh, he on. <laughs> hey, hey, Kinky was on. Hey, Kinky was on. I'll never forget that because he, oh, I'm sorry. Uh -oh. Yeah, what up, what up? Oh, shit. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and I, 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 I wish that it was like well, I don't know if you if it's a problem, but like if you play some of the songs or something like that, that that's what I wish we could do. But the bottom line is the the album will be out uh real soon. It's being pressed up right now. Double vinyl, uh, critical bass theory by Chillin' Villain Empire, man. So all those that's here. For the the real meat of everything, as far as you know, uh, knowing about CBE and knowing about the music, and been looking forward to you know uh, this uh, this drop is coming soon. It will be out soon. We got T-shirts. We're gonna have CDs, you know, uh, and we love your support. Cash App is cool, and but you definitely when them them what's call it get here, uh, buy them. You know what I'm saying? That's that's real. The uh, the album we put a lot into it. It's phenomenal. I'm a hip hopper. I love hip hop. I'm in the hip hop as far as the underground. I'm in the project glow, and and all I can say is that we we try to really dedicate a lot of energy towards making something worth talking about. You know, that's it. Real shit. Real I'm shit. Coming. Sorry, I'm taking so long. It's real shit. We be doing that shit because everybody, all of us, what I do know. Everybody got some equipment. <laughs> That's for sure. Everybody got some equipment. That's, 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 that's what up, though? Can you hear the song? What up, West Coast? No, we can't hear nothing. I can't hear no music. Oh, no. Oh, if, okay, what's, if, 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 you, if you want me to play the song, or a song, I can play a song. It'll sound, it'll come through. Okay, try it. Let me. Keep trying. I'm gonna try too. All right, hold on. Uh, what? Juanito, what's good with you? Dang. What up? What up? Yeah. Dang. 
Hey, hey, it's good hey, to hear from you, man. Hey, 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 it's crazy. Well, first of all, uh, what's good, Tomiko? Thank you for uh, adding me in. First yeah. of all, to the host. Yeah. Hey, hey Juan, yeah. you're not lying. We we got some <laughs> we got some stories, huh? <laughs> We've been on some journeys. Can you hear this? Yep. Can you hear it? Yeah, it sounds yeah. terrible, though. Already yeah. good. Oh, yeah. I can hear it. You cannot or can't? Uh, I can't. Why? It, it, it sounds like a serious echo. So I'm going to say this. Is it? Yeah. Does it sound like that? When I play it? Uh, uh, no, I sound uh, like right? I know why. Because oh, okay. we have to mute. You got to press mute on y'all and my end. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's why. Now okay. Okay. <laughs> I learned that last time. That's why we hear the echo. Thank you for letting me know too. Let me try to get that back. Hey, I need your um. You sent your album to my Gmail from your Gmail, and I need your permission. Like, I need you to like approve me, fish. It won't let me um uh, just get in there. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me know when y'all can hear it, okay? Can you hear it? You gotta mute. Too. You gotta mute yourself. Hey, Frog. I'm muted. I'm a shark mutilate because the. Now I'm gonna say everything got muted. Or maybe it's how I think for the CV hip hop plan. This is operation. Crush them all. No conversation. We crush them all. Our occupation is crush them all. We stop the playing and crush them, y'all. We're here to demonstrate what this art is here for. And if you get in our way, we turn this art into war. I got antibodies against anybody. Coming with that bullshit. Now can somebody come get his body? After this bull trip, unloading clothes like a shot. He's back in a bull clip. Everybody come view his body that he was cool with. That's the eulogizing the body, I'm up in the pool, bitch. Ain't nobody told him, all right, he's doing what to do with somebody. Should have dropped him a line that he couldn't school, bitch. Maybe he would be in his body if he had knew this. I be riding high in the saddle, showing my true grit. Rappers, they just hide in the shadows, watching my movement. Well. He just cut out. <sighs> Kinky. Where you been? What's good? What's good? Where have you been? Like you went back east or what happened? Nah, Kinky being the pen, been in the PNW up in the Pacific Northwest. What? Kinky been through some things, but he's here. Just hold on. I'm about to play y'all cut on my end. Let's see if we can hear it a little uh different. Okay. Tell uh, me when tell me when you're ready. Uh, let's see what I want to play. Um, oh, yeah, I, I, I definitely want to play that. I got wrecked. Man, let me get one of them V2 knockers. That nigga fish CBE. V2 
deep joy. With that knock on lock, like handing a pistol that's already caught with the taking a lock, let's go. I got a minute to show you that I do not play with the imagery V neck glow. I'm the one that they call when they tired of acting, they ready for show conditional. Fucking and kicking and clapping, I'm ripping the repetition for the stop when I'm doing the max if you want to do a tick tock dance with the blood to give me a deep boy chance for the break. When you think gas, donuts, figure eight, you do the mouth, chill. Put it in half mass like Moses when he holds the staff, bringing the Lord's wrath. You can rejoice to be back, nigga, nothing to laugh at, though. I'm that nigga who's like a coming through, nigga, you better pack that. Blow up, I'm up in the backpack. I will push that either track or without a bag, you do it down or next with a cut of cap for educational purposes. They clean the surfaces, blood for the trash bag. You know what this talk, I'm murdering this crime to see if y'all heard of us. Beat to it, take a fish, we are for two different sides of the planet. I'm like a shade tree word mechanic, but this beat's already super like a supercharger. I like the trucks, I ain't really got to get some. I <laughs> just got to post up. Wreck, they gon' swear it was luck. Well, I guess we hit the lotto. I'ma hit the block and get a bottle loaded up. Here you go, go for the auto now. The way I'm posted up. Don't act like you don't know me. These dicks is me act a fool. You niggas phony. Don't pay your bills, you walk the hood. We too much Tony. We the hundred dogs that walk the hills too slowly. I'm posted up. In case you need that issue. Me and my village, the village, the village, we just into this mystery. We posted up. This shit don't stay the same. It's so much you pay attention to these suckers and these Chilling Villain Empire, y'all. That's kind of heat we coming with. Is this this go around? We having fun with it. Okay, cool, man. You got something um, reckless you want to play? Reckless. You got? I don't know what she's muted know. or what. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Can Did you, you hear me? got some music that you wanted to play or video? Um, um shit. Let me see. I might have something here I could play fine. All right. What you doing, KK Rat? <laughs> you driving? Yeah, I'm in the parking lot right now. Okay. I, just put, I just put over real quick. I tapped in. I tapped in when uh, you guys first got on. I thought it was on IG. Then I checked and seen it was on YouTube. So I uh, tapped cool. in with it, but I wasn't. I didn't have my name and everything out it. So I came back and get all the information up in so I could tap in with y'all. That's good, man. When you Be- can. beautiful platform, though, you got you got you got some of the chilling, this really in this cast right there. <laughs> I know, man. They're so peace, man. They're so peace. Them cats is a foundation too. I mean, you know, a lot of cats get that, a lot of cats get the uh, exposure, but these cats was a foundation. They, I mean, you know, they was a the backbone, especially exactly. in the life. You know what I'm saying? For you know what I'm saying for me, from my experience, them was my OGs, them, yeah. them my big bros. Exactly. Oh, that's crazy. That's real. Hey, well, well, hey, Rick, hey, looking I, for something. You found something? Fun times with your ass, boy. <laughs> hey, tell me a story. Tell me a story. Uh, no, I, I don't. I, I'm gonna keep these stories to. I, do I can't. I can't hear these stories. You know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> so, but he so, know. Hey, so you, you you heard the album, okay. but uh, Reg is coming with a solo album, and uh, so am I. And and Reed is too. And so, uh, anyway, uh, that last cut uh, that I just played, posted up. That's that's from the actual album that'll be out soon. But I'm a I'm gonna play something that is not even mixed. That's coming out that will be on my solo stuff while Rick is looking for something that he might want to bump. Uh, Go ahead. Anyway, y'all peep it out. Hey, who's hey who's on the track on that last song? Oh, me and Fish. Uh, that was Big Joy. On that, on that beat. Fish tail, if you will. Oh well, got a story to tell. By the day I almost went to hell. She was at the beach fighting the seashells. He was right back on the bike trail. I was with my fellow loves, my crew. We was flying as we sail on a boat out here in the ocean. About two o'clock, was coast. We both we did a battle for a red bull with draw his sword. We did cut it to a wicked because over we served in front of the restaurant. This was a while back. I ain't gonna say where I ain't gonna say it. Now in 2022, the kind of vocal to the beach. 
they said they wouldn't what happened to theory was it would be little green men out of a space castle that were assholes. Anyway, this is the day that they uh, almost went to hell. Certain motherfuckers on the mic and going over the details. I'm a rebel, so I reveal. Ain't nothing wrong with trap or drill. I'm a sucker for hip hop beat, though. That's what I kill. And I love a bit of victory over the beat, so chill. Sleepy heat, the heat that'll make your skin feel hot like a balance of my day. I was imagining going to heaven with everyone where we can take hot like a balance of my day. I'm part of a fan of a summer so rapping and walking through the gate. Hot like a balance of my day. I was imagining going to heaven with everyone where we can take hot like a balance of my day. I'm part of a fan of a summer so rapping. All right, that's a preview. That's a preview. That's <laughs> the every day. That's a preview. That's 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 Valley Summer Day. That's that's uh my my people from from Toronto on the beat on that one right there. Um, hold on, man. You know me, here we go. I have to. I have to put, put this over real fast. Give me a second. Give me two seconds. Let me see. I'm gonna well, play this. Uh, what, huh? That's funny, man. There we go. It's coming out right here. Damn. Man, there's so many songs and stuff coming out now. Rifleman been sending songs. It's like, we got a lot of songs that are about to hit. Everybody would be like, damn. It's, everybody is trying to work right now. That's funny. Yeah, I get it. Me too. That that that's That's, that's crazy. Hey, so many folks be sending beats and shit. I'll be trying to finish my stuff. And then, then they want me to do a, a verse for days. Hey, and I got, I'll be like, damn. Well, who you been working with? Shit, well, I've been doing my stuff a lot. But uh, Fish, I got some folks too out in Tulare that I've been messing with. Then I got folks that's out <clears throat> in Los Angeles. Uh, uh, one of my young, uh, one of my young, I call him my son, Guap. Guapo Cash, he one of the young cats that's out, and he he's really dope though. He's mm -hmm. really dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's really dope. Yeah, but I've been working with Rifle, I, CR. Oh yeah. So so everybody got a lot of stuff that's really popping right now. Okay, hold on, let me play this real fast. This is probably one that's gonna come out. Hey, you know what? Taj made this beat. Fish Sun made this. Fish Sun made this beat. Can you hear it? Can you hear yeah, it? Yeah, you might want to mute though, so you don't have it. Not you, but me and Fitch, we should mute and keep you. Running time, long distance, I got to get to you. Control model, high voltage, we pumping absolute. Overload to your memory, they commanding you. Rooted and grounded, he's standing up, he's being counted. I learned the game, ran it up, now my feelings outing. Drowning memories, in fact, you gon' remember me. Slashing through the core of your network with my host to speak. We on a mission to make America safe again. Did I get it there by candlelight? Yes, and back again. Begin again, but never become a gill again. Would I kill a man? It's so easy with my trick of hand. Us people loving it, bombs away your punishment. We criticize your government, lead the way, then we smother it. We got it covered like a motherfucking tent now. From state to state with people cleaning up the shit pile. Stand alone like an MP in the company of my sense. If the devil try to provoke a nigga, my cheek gon' leave him empty. If a rich man's gang could get three fucks of what you call it, you spend your whole life putting rubles in his wallet. That's <laughs> shit. You know, that's my sneak preview shit. You know what I'm saying? You know? That was dope. For sure. We. Hey. Hey, hey, Taji, hey, hey, Taji, hey, he got some tough, he got some tight, he got, he got some tight heat. Like, he made some dope beats. That was very and, nice. 
Hey, look, and and his son can play everything though. Like the, the bass, he gonna get on the piano. He on it. <laughs> get on the yeah, he, he own that shit. You know, and uh, yeah, I think I think I don't know. I think we said everything we need to say on this one. I mean, uh, go go buy the album when it comes out. It'll be out real soon here, and uh, it's a double vinyl uh, for. For those who uh, are into the vinyl, and it'll be on CD. For those who, you know, don't don't mess with the vinyl. Right on. But uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. Shout out to Lil Yamaguchi, cause he hard too. Yeah, <laughs> Lil, Lil Yamaguchi, he hard, he hard. He got some dope beats, man. Well, yeah, shout out to everybody that was on the album that contributed all the uh the right. MCs and and all the um beat makers. We uh, it's it's always a collaboration when the CBE album is is made. We got a lot of dope beats, but we also respect dope beats. So we will um, have people that uh, are up and coming producers or people that have we've been you know making music with on our our projects for a while that will be producing on the album. Like Grim Reaper, man, he's basically like, you know, shoot CVE. That you ask who all the CVE, that's how much we work with Grim Reaper with on, on music, and he's from Canada. And yeah. um, also, we got we got cast that's just coming up, uh, No Leon. That that uh, he is a fan of ours that hit us up that um, did a dope ass beat that uh, beat. Uh, Lamert Park on the album. So when you hear that song, that's that's one of the fans that dropped the beat. And so we we, we work with everybody, you know, to make sure that if it's dope, it's getting it's getting put out there, and somebody gonna know your name. We gonna try to kill that shit over it, you know. That's it. <laughs> that's real. Amen. I enjoyed this album. This album was pretty fresh and, putting, it, putting it together. Yeah. That was okay. dope. Man. Hines, Hines. I, I, I'm sorry. I should have mentioned Hines. Oh, he yeah. did some of the dopest cuts on the album, the dopest beats on the album. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, and he did them off of an iPhone. You know what I'm saying? He, he made the beats on the iPhone. So when you hear the beats that Hines Buchanan made, just know that you, you know, you are not limited. There's nothing that can limit you from being a dope producer. Even if you don't have no equipment, he made it on an iPhone. Right. You know, I feel him. I was going to make my beats on an iPhone 6 back in the iPhone 6 days. I get it. I got a Mac. I'm working on my garage band right now. A few beats. Yes. The equipment is out there. The, the, The technology is out there. And, you know, you do your research and you get into it. It's, it's nothing that's impossible. And I say that because I mean, his them beats that he made is ridiculous, mm. you know. Yes. So, no, no, you know, no. They're, they're 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 really they're really effing ridiculous. Hey, <laughs> you know what? Before we get off, I was gonna ask you if it's okay if I play the song that I'm on on Volume Ten's latest album. Oh yeah, please do. Oh okay. yeah, please do. Okay, uh, it's called France. I think we might still do a video for it. I'm not sure. I would like to. Hold on. I mean, not hold on. Hold on, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, tell Dino I'm going to call his ass. I'm on him. Good grief. Is it called Paris or is it called France? Hold up. <laughs> I always get it mixed up. Paris. Oh, good grief. Oh, here we go. No, that's Happy Today. You got a song called Happy Today. Too. Can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear it? I hear it. Yeah. 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 
trying to get off of here why can't i find a song though that's crazy hold up let me try it again and then i'm not gonna hold y'all like that volume 10 put my name in there maybe it'll come up there we go. oh god well that's his album he's not doing a like a Hip hop album, but this is this is this is a hip hop track, I think. It seems like they don't want me to make a big minute from the traffic, so I'm gonna start singing around this piece. Oh, produced by Jism, shout out Jism, oh. by the way. Plus, I think I got this thing down in my soul. I open up the tears, we make some dough. Cause from a devil, she trusts me with these eyes. But it's easy to get caught up in the bad hip So, for the side, I'ma start to sing and put peace on everything. Maybe when we get some dough, it's gonna be fancy cars and pretty too. In the finest paradigms. Feasting and shade casually. Maybe when we get some dough, it's gonna be fancy cars and pretty toes. And the finest Ferragamos. Feasting and shade casually. It's okay, novice play, run away with me. You'll never need to be in another place for peace. It was fate in the place for us, moon and dust, monumental trust us, making away from lust us. Cause where we were before in New York, connected the dots and knew we knew not. Plus, it was discussed in other realms that we gonna kick up some dust. You'll never need not be intrigued. We'd be blessed of us. <laughs> We'd be blessed of us. Now may your love keep coming around like a carousel When times and the story they tell I'll have to be for me more And I'll have to still a feel oh, Red wine and we shot the shit We had coffee at Tin Bali And ended up dancing away at Sierra Tea in Paris, France Okay, so he, we, yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> I like the lady. He did. And then, okay, I, I don't know if y'all listen to any of his new stuff, but we did this song called Heaven. Can I just play a little bit of Heavenly? Sure. Okay. That's a Bump song we did, we did together. <laughs> Second in my stomach, the world gon' run it, the vomit, the no attempt, the is limit, the world a limit, but no fellas to stay silent, unless you won't fellas. The racket silence, the pro fellas, the smiling in my fucking face, the protectors, the ones that lit us, give me a million witches, black queens, Elohims, witch doctors, the guys lip proper, I ain't got the five bitch of the full pitch in this bitch, the relevant, the real relevant, switch, the long list, the pulpits, the death witches, the fuck snitches, and hell. The I slept as they rose, the treachery goes. Night show set flame to the barrels. 
like a lemon in the flesh. I'm a hot show. A doctor at the gun, bust the mask. Oh, God. There's nothing more you can do to me. Yo, open my eyes. No surprise. I'm heavenly. Star by the blood in the eyes on me. Hot chef shit, calling on the chef shit, Nepna, clanging on the metal, mental left hooks, peppering all the meteoric metric batons. The bones, why he's W drone, that's a blast of clowns. Grabbing on the obligon, a log noise, eye voice, info, and four glimp nose, and more. Water doesn't have a choice in the matter no more. I said, Water doesn't have a choice no more. What are you waiting for? Stars are full form. Time and effort the norm. Hospital harm be farm. Baffles that folks tackle with separating what is known from what is shown. Mind blow, trigger your zone and watch your tone. Long gone, I click long on a job on a pity pat to all natural law. Slit and clip and clap to spin to attack the even the wrong. Do this, then it's gone. They life song. There's nothing more you can do to me. I appreciate him put let me do stuff on his album, you know. Um, yeah, we did the like show. we did like three others, but I didn't know if you had time to hear all that. I, I, if you, I, I just I don't know if y'all heard our stuff, so I just I want yeah, you to, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I like it. Send me a, send me a link of it. Thank you. I want to do videos though, but it's just, okay. One last thing, okay. You ever heard of this brother, St. Louis Gibber? Uh, no. What? Okay, St. Louis Gibber. He's a really dope brother in the underground. He's mostly probably Project Blow, you know what I'm saying? Okay. He did a song with me and Dino, and I appreciate him allowing me. Oh, and <sighs> DJ Ja Blues. Do you know who Ja Blues is? Uh-uh. He does stuff with, like, you know who Gail Rock or... Is it Gel Rock? Gel yeah, Rock? yeah. He Gel Rock, with, yeah. Yeah, he works with um, just different other groups of underground artists in LA. Anyway, this is a song. He did a song with a bunch of different people around LA. He did a song with Bruce on the same album. But he allowed me to be on here and someone did it. This that unbought, unbought, Shirley Chisholm style stuff. Tough but soft to just jump off into a meditative mindset. Not to neglect any rhyme set, but to the post in your knob neck. I connect into your brain frame, check, check, I'll sweat your neck. Don't you fret in any old time, I said it's best. Don't forget that I slap the back, suck the fence, invest. Ignorance and belligerence can't stand incense. For instance, my stance to stand grand makes my fist pump hard, pull cars on land. List twist, but not belong, volume 10, my man. We develop a plan to stand. This song intense. Let alone this business, nothing but ridiculousness. Realize and provide this for prudence. Keep capturing this. No risk. Tell me, go watch 1965. Kiss, 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 kiss. kiss. That growl in the park, the 7 Eleven the snack, the coke in the pack. You would laugh, you would laugh. Tears, You're black and hatchment, a spectacular embarrassment, a man man in your imagination. I'm slapping the hesitation. My pimp hand is stronger than y'all. A hundred of the girls, it got so hundred pop and the rich. Not only the bitch, but the church girls too. Might slap you before my time through. I'm like, no kind of fool, but I'm size of my shoe. No curfew, I got sticks. A paraplegic, I'm anemic, so cold, but I'm and I've always been eyes so sweat for Floyd and Flint. I can no longer be fit. Stack myself net for the harassment of basket banking. Uh, just a morality and common sense happening for a second. I'm thinking we do too much. A collaboration and I give it a fuck. Run me up, ready to go. Say yo, motherfucker. Oh, 
This dead monster moons of mice and muted since the middle ages. The enduring sons of kings and slaves surviving the middle passage. From the womb to the tomb, the bassinet to the casket. The antithesis to the long dark character depicting us as savages. From flashbacks to the future, fast track to the present. This dead west coast representing whilst I can resent the rap. Step up ready for poetic words, me with purpose of the boots. Steady stomping through the streets in my big black boots. This that call of the rowdy righteous, written with rich rights. Pin the resolve of Jane Flaw was more pointed iron knights heavy here. And this that ran up a neglected bed, wiping sweat from a furrow brow, the fervent prayer. But the dozy mother come to bring her wayward child This that it's just what they holler make a tip But I be spitting I church there in the corner right now Giggling in derision Figured I keep it a hundred While they keep it fifty faced Then I stay banging They stay basic Slowly dying in your hatred <laughs> Stupid Just Just stupid Oh yeah that was fire that was I love stupid. it that's what I'm talking about. You know, that's from the roots right there. I love it. Man, I'm about to get off with this horn because I'm 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 overdue. I'm uh, okay, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. it's my yeah. bedtime and all that good stuff. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I got but, you, man. But, <laughs> thank you for your time, guys. And yeah, thank you, everybody who watches this and takes time out, you know, to support the channel and, and uh you know the C V E. And uh, the album be out, Critical Base Theory. Look for it. You know, it'll be out soon. But anyway, thank, thank y'all. So everybody. Oh, my gosh. This was honorable. Thank you. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right. Peace.